It is Mike Calder's show. It's 1025 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, August 27th, 2024, and we are coming to you live. Where's Jim? There he is. Oh. I know why he's late, though. Why? You want to say or you want me to tell him? He's up late watching the W. <laughs> <laughs> Gio texted me last night. He's like, this is crazy. This is, they're, they're scoring this, and they, they were underdogs, and now they're over there doing this. And you guys are obsessed. <laughs> I, I thought Gallon might be up, too. You get on text no, I late. was up. Okay. I was up. Yeah, it was no big deal. I was Dude, just laughing about it. There is so much money to be made in gambling on the WNBA because the point swings are insane. Really? But if you can figure it out, though, because yeah. Vegas can't figure it out, no. but it's hard for us to figure it out. I was watching a game the other night, and literally, Literally, like, you know, the games are usually 82 to 75, and sometimes they get over 100, but rarely do they get over 100, right. sometimes in the 90s, but usually it's around 70-something, 80-something, whatever. And uh, one of the teams, uh, I forget who it was, uh, but they scored 40 points in the last quarter. <laughs> you were saying 40 that. points in the last quarter. Like, a lot of times they don't score 40 points in a half Yeah, yeah. in the WNBA. They, I, cut, they catch fire. It, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> I watch all the NAM Fever games for my sweet, sweet CC. Yeah. <laughs> and so the game beforehand was like, I think it was uh, uh, the NAM Fever, Caitlin Clark's team, they were two-point underdogs. And at one point in the game, they were up by 18. Oh, wow. So the money line then swings for Atlanta like plus 800 and then they came back and it was like a three point game by the end of the game. So if you'd got it at plus 800, you could want a ton of money. Yeah. It's crazy because if you're watching uh, as you're going and stuff and you're like, Oh, let me get on that. You try and do it. And as you're trying to place your bet, they suspend it because yeah. they're changing. the know, it's it's going so before, yeah. Yeah. You're like, Oh, I could have had him at this. <laughs> so I got Atlanta at like plus eight at one point and I won some money. Oh, did you? Yeah, nice. Yeah, it nice. was like half they when at because one, they wound up winning what by two or three or yeah, what? It was it ended up being yeah. a two point game at the end. Nice. I love wow. it. But then Caitlin Clark <laughs> went down for a second and she was grabbing her ankle. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. And my heart stopped. Yeah. Like but when she, your child gets hurt. Man. Yeah, yeah. But she was okay. She shook it off. She was back on the court. Sweet. Oh, thank yeah. God. What would we do? I love the W. I love it. We're going like, to play off push. I, I, you know, you think we're mocking it, but we're not. These guys are dead serious about watching the WNBA. It's something that nobody ever watched before Caitlin Clark. No, no not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. She is. You guys only like white it. players. <laughs> yeah. no, I'll give Angel like... Reese credit too, because she's fun to watch as well. Yeah. But uh, but it's really the two of them that I feel like is really, you know, and well, being able to bet. Uh, uh, yeah. Asia, <laughs> Asia Wilson is great. She's good. Yeah. Uh, Aaliyah Boston that plays with uh, Caitlin. They're a great team. Do you yeah. ever think you could name Dude. four <laughs> WNBA players? Oh, I can name a lot. <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding. I could name more WNBA players than I could name NBA wow. players. That's how crazy it is. By the wow. way, you ready for this? Arike Abuguale. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like yeah. that? How do you like that? I, mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> I, I like couldn't it. tell if you were right or wrong. No, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. She's real. I mean, if you're looking for a little betting action, uh, Kelsey Mitchell from the Fever, last night she was her fourth twenty uh, yep. game in a row of yeah. 20 points or more. Yeah. Wow. So I think they play again Wednesday night. Oof. <laughs> This is great. I'm so excited. I love it. Uh, Who I got, needs football? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when's that funny. come back? Are we not starting the WNBA fantasy league? <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Oh, as hilarious. long as I can pick uh, Caitlin Clark, I'm in. I love it. I love that you guys have a, an obsession. Speaking of, um, you didn't text me last night uh, about WNBA, but everybody else in the world decided to text me after 10 o'clock last night. Jesus Christ. The only one that's acceptable is John Sarasani texted me last night. Hey, he doesn't. He's on a different coast than I am, and uh, he doesn't know my schedule. You know what I mean? So I woke up this morning to a long text from him, and then and also hours. you have to know whenever you get pumpkins and you're out in oh, yeah. Jed Pop. Jed Pop. Know everybody, <laughs> Do you you don't even know what these are. <laughs> also, he was telling me something that was time sensitive. So, yeah. uh, but the um, everybody else, Jesus, use your heads. I got to get up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so you know what you do. That's when you text them when you get up. Go, hey, just responding to your text, butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you Who's know, sending you, me nudes? You can set your oh, phone oh. to, like, you know, block certain people. That's how mine is. No, I mean, I, I just, it, I don't care. Like, I just, I'm not like, you know, I could sleep through it. It's just weird that people yeah. that use no consideration. You After know? nine, like, there's only a select few people to get through on my phone. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you really have to ring that phone a lot for me to wake yeah. up. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sleepy. Last night, I went down hard. Carmen, I went to the gym yesterday. Oh, hot. Why'd you work out? Everything. <laughs> Everything. I felt like when I got home, I sat down and I felt like I had taken a nap. And while I was napping, somebody beat me to death. 
Uh, oh, Carmen, no. we pointed out the other day that oh, uh, whenever, well, no, whenever <laughs> you're doing your, your videos and stuff, the, you know, for certain videos, you got your boobies out and stuff. And I said the one where you showed you're on the stair climber thing. I know you need some new workout clothes. Why? I don't it's know. A brand like, new outfit. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe, uh, okay. Maybe oh, okay. See if her birthday is coming you're up. Maybe gay. Whoa. 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 You seem to be the only one that does it. <laughs> no, I didn't say I didn't like the way you look in it. I don't like the outfit. Like, you're, I don't know. What is it? It's not Lululemon, is it? Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I'm not spending $200. It's Larry, it's Larry Live. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not spending $200 on a workout outfit. I'm just saying. I was going to oh. say, maybe her birthday is coming up. You can uh, raid your uh, wife's closet for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, the uh, videos, you know, she got her boobs out. She's got the other one where she's got her boobs. Are you doing it on purpose? And what? do you know what I'm talking about? What? I don't know. Your video you put out the other day, you working out? Oh, the, I just didn't have a, my tripod, and I'm sick of everyone telling me to. You need to lift weights. I go to the gym no, 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 four no, days no. a week. No, 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 no. We don't care about that. Okay. <laughs> what are you okay. talking about? Cry shots? I'm talking about the clam slams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I mean, what, what is happening? I mean, just. I can <laughs> tell how old you are. Oh, yeah. What are you oh. talking about? I can, I can count the rings. <laughs> there was only one, and it was for two seconds. That's, Easy, yeah, guy. It was, how many times did you slow it down? Yeah, oh. I didn't, but it was <laughs> right off the bat, yeah. and it, it hit me, and I went, what is I, happening? I pushed it open right. a couple of times. Yeah. Right yeah. off the bat, I'm doing push-ups. It's the floor yeah. angle. Uh, right? Yeah, we like it. More yeah. than that. Yeah. More yeah. floor angle. Right. Here comes the bologna sandwich. Yeah, you oh, know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Bologna sandwich. I'm blocking all of you. All right. You won't find my other accounts. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, uh, I I didn't uh, mm -hmm. I, go no, ahead. No. What? <laughs> I didn't you, see your push up video is what I was gonna say. It's the really it's the beginning of the video. Yeah, I didn't see it is all oh. I was gonna say. Lies. I was talking about your dirty workout clothes. <laughs> They're not dirty, for one. <laughs> Two, that is like a Lululemon dupe that's very popular with everybody. Yeah. And three, I bought those outfits because of you. So maybe be a little bit nicer. Because of oh, me. She's showing up for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you mean because of me? Because of the project I was working on for you. Oh, oh project. Oh. What is that? What, what, happened? what happened? Did oh. that die? No, I'm still doing it. I'm waiting for everybody else to get their stuff together. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So again, that's for you. So maybe either be nicer or give me some money. I, I would and like then, to do, maybe I'd like to do both. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys got a little side hustle yeah. going? It's yeah, a secret we do. It's called second job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you got only, yeah. only mics going on over yeah, there? What's yeah, what's going on? Can we, we got a stable happening or what? Can we talk about Joe's the idea we had with Joe yesterday? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Joe is going to be doing a thing on YouTube. No. Mm. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's not videoing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. That's why it'll get done. Unless you're following him without him knowing, that's the only way it's going to get done. Wow. Yeah. Joe is going to be doing painting like Bob Ross. Hell right? yeah. He does painting, but he's painting my numbers while drinking four osos. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I, I, you're going to be the world's next Bob Ross. I'm telling you. I love it. All right. I'm telling you the wisdom that's going to come out of you as your painting is uncontrollable. Okay. I am so looking forward to it, Joe. Two shots, one picture. Two shots, no. maybe three. Please. Well, I you, mean, you got to do a celebration shot when we're done. You got to do. You got to do a couple before. You got to get prime. Oh, okay. And right. then uh, you're gonna be. You <laughs> did two shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two right. shots. Clam right. shot. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm not gonna yeah. get any clam shot. Calvin said you did the clam slam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I'm excited about painting with Joe. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how this goes. No, oh, yeah, I don't, you don't seem confident. Well, mm. No, no. One no. and done. Like all your other projects, I'm sure it's going to yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those reasons, Carmen said out. one and yeah. done. Exactly. In and out. Okay. Yeah. I'll be happy with that. Thank you, Mike. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like my um, my sagging of the garage had a reverse effect. Why? I thought you'd be happy, and instead it's like you were angry yeah. that I did it without you. See? Well, I mean, you know. What do you mean? I mean, I've, I've tried. I, I know I didn't directly tell you. It's, that's my fault. I should have directly said. Please don't sag it without Joe. It'll ruin. It'll ruin the vibes. I mean, it's not like there isn't still work to be done. I there mean, is work to be done, you know, Michael. I've it, looked in there. He goes in there now, and it just he just looks lost. I I gotta <laughs> call the storigami people and buy some more of those things. Yeah. Those things are fantastic. They're very hard to set up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Spanish spent three days telling me how easy they were to set up. And once I didn't need them anymore, he's like, they're very, very hard to set up. Joe said to me yesterday that it's about time Mike cleaned his own damn garage. <laughs> I, I did. I thought I heard that, but I, I wasn't sure if that was him. That. I was like, dude. Wow. He, he actually, didn't say throw my own garbage. Right? <laughs> he actually asked me if he could wash my car. He said, I need to do something <laughs> oh, to yeah. stay here. This video ain't cutting it. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's right. You've been repurposed. Yeah. No, I just listen. I'm, I'm trying to get some stuff done. That's all. I think it looks great out there. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your support. I'm going to move the garbage can back in today. Well, I don't know. Yesterday. It fell over. Well, no. Yesterday it was raining for an hour. I didn't know if it caught any rain being out there. Well, I think it got knocked over unless the raccoons did it. It got knocked over? I think it got knocked over. I don't know. Maybe it was the coons. Yeah, maybe. When I pull up, first thing, I pull up and I just see a bunch of little raccoons, like a family of six, just all look at me and scurry away and like, we'll get it later. (laughs) This truly is a wilderness area. Uh, I let the dogs out last night and I let them, I let them out for a little longer at nighttime so they can get a little, get their runs out and Mm -hmm. get a little tired. Mm -hmm. They were out there probably seven eight minutes before i went out there to check on them and they were both frozen stiff just staring they they stood there the whole time there was just a rabbit yeah and the rabbit's like mm-hmm. the rabbit does not care that the dogs are there and the dogs just stare at it they don't move it's crazy yeah there was four deer out here when i pulled up well that's the thing you got the rabbit yeah then you got the deer then you got the raccoons mm-hmm. and the alligator i'm living in the jungle and joe peeing in the, the woods yeah, yeah. 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 and a wizard you're welcome I, this this week everything has gone wrong. Oh no! The, it's only Tuesday. Uh, the, um, <laughs> since Friday, the lightning hit the uh, the dog fence. Oh, that's right. I saw that in the garage, Michael. It it's, did look frightening. It's insane. Burn it, marks on the wall. It looks like an artist did it to mm-hmm. show an explosion. Um. Then uh, my theater room, which I'm all gearing up for for football season, I went up there yesterday and put in the PlayStation Five in the place where the PlayStation Four was. I was getting ready to throw down last night whole thing shut down on me oh i was like jesus christ nate's got to come over today and take a look at it yeah. and did you then, plug it in what yeah yeah like it's I, plugged I, in? No, 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 the whole system shut down right. on me it's it fired up but no it won't show anything on the screen it's it's ridiculous i've used that thing like maybe 12 times right then uh my pool i noticed my filter my waterfall wasn't on I went over there and that thing is completely dead from the inside like i can't operate the uh the pool thing then um what a rough week. The pool and the theater. Mm. <laughs> Hope nothing happens to your sprinter. Oh, or your uh, yeah, what a, oh my God. <laughs> your driver. Yeah. I, 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 I feel for you, man. That's, kinda, that's rough. Working. <laughs> you know what? You can't get any sympathy from anybody around here. This is ridiculous. I mean, first world problems. Uh, you want me to wipe your tears with $100 bills? <laughs> <laughs> then my cleaning lady, I lost one. There's only yeah. three of them now. Oh. And then a girl that I know wasn't wearing Lulu Lavender. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the pool's not working. Yeah. The theater's not working. Uh, it's, a, uh, you, it's a rough time. And then my cleaning crew came yeah. five minutes late. And they looked at me in the eye. No, yeah. no, 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 no. They said my name. No. These, they don't even. They, like I waited for her to look at me so I could say hi to her, and she wouldn't even look at me. Uh, I don't know what trained. Wanna. Yeah, she's scared. Must have been in the in the contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was actually I went out to my car to get something, and I was coming back in, and the cleaning lady was putting a bag of trash out there, and we opened the door at the same time, and she goes, "Sorry," and I go, "Don't speak to me." Oh, no. <laughs> she just uh, cowered in fear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Now. <sighs> anyway, we have a good show today. We got a lot of things happening. People dying left and right. Mm-hmm. Did you watch him crazy? I did. Okay. Yes. Good. Let's talk about it. You oh, watched two Carmen? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. Okay. I didn't see the first one. Okay. So I see the second one. By the I way, see- everything that I assumed happened happened. I see her in court where she's talking about um the chimp Tonka uh being cremated mm-hmm. and they uh have ashes for mm-hmm. Tonka and they turned over uh bones and stuff there were ashes and then they did a well they uh, turned over ashes was right. the big thing and it was uh, there were no bones right because you find out that people think that you know you cremate something and it's just the ashes like right. that and it's fine almost like sand but it's not it's big hunks of bones and all that stuff and then they put it through a processor that makes it into a fine yeah so uh line. so so it's appeared the whole time that she was lying about not knowing the whereabouts of Tonka because I keep in mind, I only watched the second episode. I didn't know whether Tonka was really dead or not. Right. 
And then at the end of the thing, she goes, I guess now. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's been a couple of days. Uh, she goes, what now? And she goes, now we just have to keep him hidden. Yep. And then, then she walks downstairs and there's Tonka in the cage. Yeah. But two things. One, yeah. it's in the house. A simple yeah. a simple warrant would, would have them. But you have to have enough to get a warrant. Right. And then also, the show's going to come out eventually. The the video that they're making. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's. So, I don't think people look that far into the future. Oh, yeah. I was like. Eh, it's yeah. like every reality show where this one's cheating on this one and this and that. And they're talking to the camera about it. And you're like. This is going to come out. Yeah. You know, you're still going to be with this person or whatever. I haven't yeah. watched it yet, but I, so how is it being filmed that this is, it's go, going down like this? Like so, she was filming it? No, no. It's a documentary a crew, crew. Right. And they actually have a proxy director because the guy who did the stuff for, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Tiger King. Right. It, everybody knows him now and they don't want him to come and screw with their stuff. So they have this other guy who was in the animal world. It knows a lot of the stuff, whatever, and he, he said that he's making. He, he said he's making. Is it that the black dude? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he's so not. Are... He's not even a real director. No, he worked. In oh, the that's circus. right. You didn't see the first I one. Didn't see the first one. Yeah, yeah. So the real director is the other guy that talks to some people with the beard, and okay, he's sitting there. Yeah, yeah. That's the real director. The black dude is a guy who, like Carmen said, worked in the circus, uh, did stuff with animals, whatever. And was in prison for some things, whatever. But he's the proxy director, and he goes, "When they asked me to be a proxy director, I didn't know what proxy yeah. proxy director meant." He goes, "I had to Google it," and he goes, "And then I still wasn't sure." Well, and wow. he worked in the animal field, like the exotic animal field, for a while. Like, there's a a clip of him like doing like some type of zoo show, basically. So he knows all about the exotic animals right. and how to talk world. to those people right. because. They like they can pick up on it if you're a phony. So basically. she's hiding the chimp, and she knows she's being filmed during it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and Which then weird. That's, what, that's what I was trying to figure. Well, out. At the end of the last episode, she goes downstairs and they show the chimp, and there he is, right? Monster. Wait, that's so, so sad. The chimp is like that size. No, oh, yeah, yeah, bigger than that. Really? Yeah, and it looks, and it's not as. It's old now, so it, it looks dangerous. Oh, I don't, it's a big. And it had a stroke, so it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't really oh. act right either. Oh boy. It's like banging its head and shaking the cage. What? Like, that's all it does. That's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Well, also, you know, you take an animal that's a wild animal and you keep it in captivity for that long. Right. It's going to change its whole, you know, it's wild. It was when I didn't watch the first one, so I didn't know. And she's like, now we just have to keep him hidden. And she went down the stairs and there. Well, I was like, yeah. oh, my God, they got it right there. Well, I assumed what her lie was going to be. And then I assumed that was going to be the reveal. Like, you know. Yeah, thought well, that was gonna happen, but still, it's still like whoa. I know, but I I just don't understand how this lunatic is going to now defend it and say that the chimp doesn't exist anymore when they've got it on tape. I don't think she realize like I don't think she's smart enough to even go. Oh, they can still I can get in trouble. I think she thinks if she just gets away with it, she gets away with it. Hmm. Well, the show is called Chimp Crazy. It's on HBO. There's only two episodes left. It's a four four episode series, yeah, right? So. Yeah. Now I'm into it, man. She is wild, too. It starts out with her uh, going to the tanning salon, and she goes, he said, how many times a week do you go, or how often do you go? And she goes, I don't know, three or four times a week. A week? Oh. Three or four times a week, she goes, and then she's getting her lips all plumped up uh, and stuff. Yeah. And She what? should look like, uh, if she's going three times a week, she should look like the, the lady from... Uh, Something about Mary. Yeah. She should be yeah. brown Look and wrinkled. Her. Look at she's her. Not, she I know. is. Nah, she's she, not as dark. Well, that's a movie. That's real life. That's yeah. what you look like in real life. I mean, she looks like. And she's wearing wigs, right? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Who's weirder if you had to rank them? Carol Baskin, Exotic Joe, and. Uh, I don't think Carol Baskin's that weird. I don't think so either. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think he goes Joe, her, Carol. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Joe is because you got to mix in all the weird gay stuff that Joe's right, doing, right, right. and I mean weird by like trying to turn straight people gay and yeah. stuff, not being gay. Is by the way, he's not trying, do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a master manipulator. That guy. Yeah. Um, he called into Drew and John show. Oh yeah, ago. both gay now. Drew, Drew and John. And John? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> your, your pause freaked me out for a second. <laughs> I didn't understand yeah. what you were saying yeah. at first. I know how this the chimp story ends. I don't want to spoil it. How do you know? Because it happened like two years ago, and it was all over the news. And I read, I read a news story from like 2021 about what happened. Well, I mean, I don't care if you say yeah. it because no, I don't want to because it's gonna it would ruin the show for sure. Oh. It was it was uh it was like a follow up of what how this all went down. 
Is the gym die? I'm not going to tell oh. you. I don't want to ruin it. You yeah, can look it up stop. yourself. Yeah. If you want, I, I, I no, don't look it up. He's going to well, ruin it for well, everybody. Did you watch though <laughs> the um, the part where they went through the Travis the Chim thing? Where the gym oh yeah, did, that I mean there was details there that I had never heard before. Yeah, and then the woman that had Travis, I in my opinion, this from the hearing the facts of the story when it happened was the woman's chimp just went nuts one day, but when they tell you the story. They tell you that the chimp was in bad shape and that the woman was hiding bruises and it was attacking her and uh, it, it was long coming. Yes, because it's a wild animal. And oh, once it why. gets to a certain age, yeah, no, I've been like, I'm always amazed whenever people uh, have wild animals and then uh, it turned on me. Yeah. 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 Of course. <laughs> I never thought it, it would do that. Yeah. They kept it in a small locked <laughs> right. box. Yeah. And then uh, the other one showed up with the Elmo doll, which is the thing's favorite doll. And it probably saw it and was like, give me that doll. <laughs> 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 her face. The worst part about it, the chimp, uh, they have those giant fangs. Oh, yeah. Right. Those two giant, two long, giant fangs. You can't defend against that. So well, the, poli the, the police officer that showed up for the call, the, all the police knew the chimp, knew Travis, because they would see it all the time. And they had a, uh, the, these people had a towing company and the chimp would be with them in the towing company. And it was the on the logo and stuff. And so they knew they were like, Oh yeah, he was nice. And we always played with him and stuff. And so he says, I show up and then here comes Travis. And he goes, he comes over and puts his hands up like this. And all I see is teeth with blood dripping down. Oh. From his and he looks at me and I look at him and he just reaches and pulls my door off. Do you, do you believe that? Yes. That yeah. he pulled the door off the hinges? I he believe. said he started shaking the car. Yeah, he was shaking the car and stuff, and he pulled the door off. I totally yes. believe that he at least pulled it open. open. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Possibly off. They're very, very, very strong. I know, but think about what it takes to pull a car door, a door yeah. off. They're very, very strong. Well, I remember that Travis Chip, she, he gouged the woman's eyes out. Yeah, ate up. No, he ate, ate her face. Yeah, yeah, ate yeah, yeah, ate her face. But like literally with his hands, first thing he did was claw at her eyes and ate him. He's eating her face. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the, the, the 911 call. They had a follow up with that woman. She's wearing a hat and a veil over her face. And she's like, yeah, he did a number on me. He really did a number on yeah. me. Oh, yeah. I think I use a different term. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was on, she showed her whole face on like 60 minutes or yeah. something before. Oh. Well, remember they did uh, the surgery on her. Yeah, she's got full like face transplant, but you can't she's got no eyes. Because I did an <laughs> open letter about it. I go, if we're calling that a success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go like, I could smash a grape and sew it back together. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to look like a grape. Oh, you know what I mean? Man. <laughs> it's wild. But, uh, oh. but that was the interesting thing is the police officer said he goes he goes, he didn't say it to me because, you know, I understand it's a chimpanzee. He said, but the look in his eyes when he looked at me was like, he goes, I pulled my gun because he's going crazy. And yeah. he has blood and everything. He goes, and we locked eyes. And he goes, and I heard in my head, do it. Yeah, just shoot me. Just Put shoot me. me, out, of Put me out of my misery. Well, and all, yeah, because he's in captivity. And oh, then yeah. On, and, then on top, and then on top of that, one of the owners had passed away. The husband that was of the I think wife. Set him off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he was grieving, and yeah. you know what I mean. And animals don't know how to show that, and right? Stuff. And, and if they, he doesn't understand why he's not there anymore, and they yeah. s they say if an owner dies, let the animals see it, right? See the well, because they will pro they'll be able to process that. Because if not, they just think the owner abandoned them. As bad as it is, they have to smell the death, right? Yeah, so oh. that they know that but it's they, done. Yeah, but they say if an owner dies of a pet, you should let them see the body. Or another pet or anything like that, yeah. yeah. I took my shoes off after the gym. I smelled, smelled like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. It was Did you show the dogs? But no, the dogs don't want to have anything to do with it. They're just uh, <laughs> They're rolling it. gross feet away from me. <laughs> Dead feet. Holy cow. Uh, I'll tell you. I'm really I, I really can't believe I was I missed the first one. Yeah. yeah I got to go back and watch the first one. So is it Tuesday? So is a new one tonight? No, 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 it's uh, Sundays. Sunday oh, Sundays. Okay. Sunday nights on HBO. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it's at ten o'clock or whatever. I usually watch it the next day. So yeah, I watch it. I forgot I was in the text you and say, "Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy." Yeah, it's you knew it was stuff. gonna be good though. It, like as soon as I saw that trailer, I was like, "Here we go!" <laughs> <laughs> from the that by the way, that's a great tagline. Whoever thought of it, great tagline from the humans that brought you Tiger yeah. King. That's so good. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, yesterday on the show. I said something that received so much hate. Does anybody want to guess what it was? You fat, lazy. Oh, oh. You suck. You did. Like, no one ever says, hey. Really? Yeah, like, if I say something, if I go, um, hey, Carmen, I don't like your workout clothes. 
Did you? Nobody would ever go. Hey, did you ever consider that maybe you're too old to like her clothes, or maybe those you're are not your a lady? Color? <laughs> nobody ever says that. They always go. It's because you're a fat, stupid jerk off, and that's I get a it. yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> but did anybody want to figure out what brought the hate yesterday? Oh, there's so much. I don't uh, know. Yeah, exactly. it's kind of hard to narrow it down. Yeah, it really is. Making yeah. Spanish talk about why oh. he's going over to Brother Mark. Oh. No, I didn't make. I, did I make you talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty I much. Pretty I mean, much. this yeah. show is. The show you is used all about, to talk about your failures. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Uh, the show is all, the said, show is all about, about us it. talking about. It. Well, I mean, you can't kind of say that on the show. I mean, they thought I thought I could, but uh, I know now for sure I that is not the right thing to do. Yeah, no. yeah, it's not. It's. I mean, there's blood in the water. I'm gonna go for it. I know. That's yeah. why I said I, I. I could tell you, uh, you know, during a commercial break, yeah. but uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I. I very much understand but that. But then the, I do this for a long time. I know when you tell me, I can tell you during the commercial break, the entire listening audience goes, well, we want to know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, I listen, I very much especially I also now, feel like you build it up because you could have been like, uh, oh, I went over to grab some food. And then it just, just went right through. Uh, I mean, he just thought you may like actually respect his boundaries for one. Yeah. No, oh, no, no listen, uh, I think that is an Spanish. unrealistic uh, right. thought Spanish. on this show. Yeah. Well, I, I, I just now know for real, for real, that uh, like my shame and embarrassment brings joy to many, many people. So. Oh, I didn't. I didn't not take you. any joy. Out yeah, of it, not yeah. you. But I mean, like, I know, like, like especially of receiving messages and stuff from people. They, they, people do still get a lot of joy out of seeing others fail. Well, and they also uh, were very mad at me yesterday, and it had nothing to do with you. Thank you. Not that. Anybody Thank else? That. Hmm. Yesterday, talking about. I had to block people on Twitter for the first time in a long time. Whoa. More hate for Billy D. Was it no, 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 anything no. political? No. What? Because that pisses people off these days. Was that this a new guy, trampoline thing? No. Did this guy was... Fire? What? No, no fire. 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 Well, you know, the the, light, no, yeah. no, no. Oh, this, uh, yeah, the dog yeah. Uh, collars. The dog collars. No, 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 no. Oh, Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you. No one hates a dog collar more than me. I just didn't want my dogs to get eaten by alligators, yeah. so I had no choice. Um, They were mad at me because I agreed... That it would be cool to have a hotel in a state park. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Oh terrible, my god! You're a terrible human. That Don't go out. I heard. Yeah. I heard all about it. Why? Right. Because you're fat and lazy. You have to have a hotel. <laughs> I, I went, right. Walk I'll, and get out. Go home. What? Why do you, I said walk around the park and go home? I yeah. feel like it would be uh, a nice place to stay in yeah. the park. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that made me yeah. fat and lazy. Taking over the home of millions of animals that have lived there for millions of years. So you can sit by the pool. Yeah. All right. I don't want to go there. You have I, a pool. Oh, yeah, but yours is broken. I'm not going. I'm not going to the park oh. hotel. Oh, my God. I, I was just saying that yeah. I thought that it would attract people to the park. I believe you said, huh, I get it. We should have a hotel there. <laughs> I mean, I might have. I might have said something along those lines. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh yeah, I could see why people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I but you don't golf that. or play pickleball, and that was two of the things they were gonna do. Yeah, I didn't say it wanted it for me. You I was f- thinking about other people. Yeah. Jesus, you Christ. didn't want the hotel though. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you think about it. If you have a family of kids and they could go, they could do stuff in the park. They could stay in a hotel and then get up and instead of sitting by the pool, they can go walk through the park or do other park kind of things, go see baby alligators or go play pickleball or whatever. You can go camping in the yep. park. Why yeah, that's, hotel? True. that's yeah. a great idea. She if you're a sing. camper, if you have camping equipment, my wife doesn't want to camp. Right. So then don't go to state parks. Right. I'm not I, going either way. I, I'm staying out of them. I feel like you're leading the charge. You're the one. You're yeah. the reason why they're putting hotels there. I don't even like bugs. So I'm staying out of the parks. That's it. Let's put a casino in there. Oh, that would be oh, nice. Right. Oh. Be nice. Oh. Yeah. Now you're starting to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Parks Casino would be yeah. fantastic. Jesus. Go kayaking and then play some bets. Yeah. yeah. Place your bets, then go kayak. Yeah. Come back and say you did. Place your bets on how the people will kayak. See if they'll <laughs> fall over. Or... You're betting on old people's pickleball yeah. games right there. Wow. All right, well, Nancy, you just lost me eighty five dollars. I'm not going any na- any national park now, just to make just save to get the parks. Back. You're yeah. not save them, save You're them all. Allowed. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, Carmen will tell you what we have to give away, and we will play Sporkle next on 102.5 The Bone. Carmen, you missed it. Yes, Michael. What? Right as we're about to go back on the air, it's one minute. 
Then about 10 seconds goes by, and then he just shoves a candy bar in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> sweet, sweet payday. Going, going goes. One minute left. Time to shove the candy bar in my mouth. Yeah. yeah. How'd you know you were going back on the air? Well, Spanish lets me know by shoving a payday yeah, into his mouth. <laughs> As I was putting it in my mouth, I looked over and Galvin locked eyes with me and I was like, oh, this isn't going to be good. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't have much time during the break. Yeah, so yeah it's like, that's our longest <laughs> break. Why do you wait till like two yeah. seconds before we go on the air to no, eat something? Sorry. No, I don't have to be sorry. I just, it's weird. Did you bring candy bars to everybody? He probably did. Oh, of course oh. he did. That's why he's a great person. That's why you're... Well, let me see. What is it? A little Reese's. Oh my God. How much candy are you eating? I mean, enough, enough, I think, right? <laughs> is that a really valid answer? I, I, some would say more than enough. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I yeah, use yeah, that maybe. answer all the time when people ask me, like, right. how much did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> I say, enough. I also say enough. Uh, yeah. I, it seems odd to me. A guy who eats honey and nuts mm-hmm. is all of a sudden now just stocking up on candy bars. Well, so I haven't done the nut. Like, I haven't eaten ate healthy like that in quite some time. You uh, you went completely oh opposite. You, well, I mean, not total opposite, but in the morning. So like the morning time uh, is usually when I'm feeling the most stressed. So that's when I'll I do the candy. Then throughout is, the rest of the day. Is Why? brother Mark yeah. stealing the candy bars from work? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. I noticed you don't have, you used to have the jar of peanut butter and you just eat spoonfuls of right, peanut butter right, right, right. show. Now. now Why does go- that gross me out so much? I don't know. That's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a payday and a Reese's peanut butter cup. I love the peanut butter. What else is in your bag? <laughs> he always has great snacks. I'll give him that. Uh, my favorite Doritos, spicy sweet chili. Uh huh. Okay. Keep going. All right. You know you're not here for a month. <clears throat> uh, baby Ruth. Anybody want a baby oh Ruth? Oh my God. Uh, why do you have Jill? so much candy? Yeah, I like a baby Ruth. Yeah. Thank you. He's packing like he might get stranded somewhere. Yeah. But he's packing <laughs> just candy, not a meat stick in there. And a- I do want you. Uh, so I have some uh, bacon babe uh, cookies oh, left all over. The, not bitten off of. I peeled. So if you want to try one, Gio, they're I would delicious. Love to. Yeah. <laughs> he often does bring pastries. Yeah. He I'm has. a big pastry fan. Is there more? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, let me yeah. just let it all out. I'm just gonna, let it all out. What is honey that? roasted nuts. Okay. Those are my favorite. All right. Yeah. I mean, since we're on the air, now's the time to eat, right? Yeah. yeah let's get a piece. What am I waiting for? Some sliced peaches. <laughs> oh, my God. What? I like what I like. A jar of sliced peaches. Yeah, okay. And who carries a jar of them? Yeah. You don't put like, them in a container? Right. Like, if you put them in a Tupperware, I'd go, all right, he wanted peaches, so he put them in. But the full jar. Oh, yeah. Millions That's of peaches. Peaches <laughs> for me. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have a moves. jar of peaches? Uh, well, uh, well I, I love peaches, and uh, they're, you know, at Costco, you can't buy one thing. You got to by a thousand pounds or something. Yeah, I, I'm just curious why you brought peaches with you to, to work. Peaches, payday, Reese's, yeah. Doritos, right. nuts, water. How many Cookies. years oh. did you think you were going to be here? <laughs> I have a uh, wild tuna quinoa salad. <laughs> <Okay>. Also, <laughs> yes. All right. what, just in case. what is going on? What? Yeah. I, got, I have supplies. Do you feel like the conversation <laughs> yesterday where he's, uh, you know, down a little bit and we're going over to brother Mark's for food and stuff that he's just going through the ca- ca- cabinets and just grabbing just whatever. Away. Yeah. I don't know. I guess some peaches. What is this? Wild tuna. All right. <laughs> so I have to worry about you going to my pantry. What do you, I don't want to start missing food. I never take without asking. Yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah. shawshank that's, stuff right out of your no, pantry. By the way, sure. that's not true. Creamer. What do you mean? I oh. asked about the creamer. You asked, you asked once or twice. No, it's so you took more than your face. You emptied it. Oh. I will die on this hill. Your wife told me. Oh, don't bring my wife. Why so I'm just oh, saying. Right you're saying yeah. She yeah. just said, have as much creamer as you want. She didn't so, think you were going to finish it. I didn't finish it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I tell you, if you're over my house and we're watching football, I know how much you love football. Uh, and I say, Spanish, have as much pizza as you want. Doesn't mean you can come back over next Tuesday <laughs> and eat. If there's any pizza in my house, you eat it. <laughs> well, you said, I mean, he's, he's cooking frozen pizzas. He said, how much? <laughs> that is a, that is a fair comparison. Yes, a lawyer. little outlandish. I feel yeah. uh, comparing pizza. You're, to. I feel paper. like you're, I feel like you're using the uh, law of the land and the legal ease against uh, Amanda because, I, I, because she said, have as much as you want. You open ended it and just left it, you know, for the rest of your life. You got <laughs> yeah. on Card I, launch. Yeah. I feel like were. there's more food in that container. In uh, your... uh, 
uh, I have a lot of uh, the <laughs> lobster. No, I wish teases. I got like uh, the whole bottom is lime. Oh, he, he also has. By the way, I'd like to point out he also has two giant bottles of water yeah. of glass bottles, and then a big thing of Gatorade too. One of my favorite candies were there's originals. Oh my god! In a Ziploc bag. In a Ziploc bag. You know you got to keep them together. Yeah, what happened so to the world? You portion those, but you don't portion your peaches. By the way, that's well, not a portion. He has like fifty of them. Yeah. In the <laughs> also, Carmen, I'd love to portion your peaches. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. portion anytime. So the peaches were just, you know, you know, Carmen. Like you can't. It's a jar of peaches that come yeah. in like a four pack. And I'm going to be hundred percent honest. I just saw this in the morning and was like, "What? Well, I, I want peaches." peaches. Yeah. Yeah. Spanish. You know what? I cut up a whole watermelon this weekend. You know what I did? What? I put them into individual bags and Tupperware so I could grab it as I go, so I don't have to bring a whole watermelon to work with me. I didn't bring like a <laughs> giant <laughs> jar. That is it's a, a, it's a, that a big, big jar. It's a third of your body. Are you going to eat the whole jar at once? Maybe. No. So you brought too much. I've done it before. You brought a certain- <laughs> I, 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 I will do it again. I got to be honest with you. I'm not even concerned with the volume. I'm concerned with the glass. You have glass yeah. bottles. You have a glass jar. Yeah. Like you take one tumble and it's a uh, glass city, baby. I've taken many a tumble. Yeah. Uh, the glass bottles way stronger than I would ever yes. imagine. Yeah. Ridiculous. That's true. The peaches, I'm afraid. I feel like you're saying I could break them. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. You All right. Gia, what'd you bring for lunch? Uh, I didn't bring anything. Galvin, what'd you bring for I lunch? I thought I had a lot because I have a water and a tea. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Joe, what snacks do you have? I brought like a little bottle of nuts. <clears throat> Joe takes old medicine bottles like that you take your medicine <laughs> yeah. and fills them with nuts. That's right. And then, and every once in a while, we're like, we look at Joe, and it looks like he's taking medication. Yeah. He's like, just eating some nuts. Yeah. He's yeah. like, perfect size. Yeah. So that's what Joe brings. And then mm-hmm. you bring peaches, a payday, a Reese's, yeah. Werther's, mm-hmm. two bottles of water, tuna yeah. and quinoa, yeah, tuna and quinoa, the, uh, wild yeah. tuna, quinoa, wild tuna, salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I like I like to be prepared for myself, but also, you know, if anybody else wants anything, sure. Have stuff. Who wouldn't want some <laughs> canned peaches or jarred peaches and some canned tuna from your satchel? Okay, you're right. The no one's eating the peaches or the tuna, but the candy bars and the cookies usually are smashed. I feel, like a, guy, I feel like a yeah. guy who is going to Brother Mark's for food would not be giving away dollar candy bars to everybody. Well, you're not in a rich neighborhood in Halloween. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the candy bars, uh, I didn't have to pay for. So, oh, oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, we're getting somewhere. brother Mark was stealing those for you. Wait, what? Say that again. I'm what? sorry. I said Mike asked if Mark was stealing those for you, and you said no. No, he's not stealing them. So they're expired. Is- no, they fell off a truck. They're they fell off a truck. Comp. Okay. Yeah. Are okay. they from Brother Mark? No. Are they're they from old- my own? Are they from my old button wiener? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Are they? maybe. I used to get hooked up for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And is, did you ask for candy bars? Did he offer anything else? Or He's a vending guy. Yeah, you know. Right. Uh, but I'm just saying, did you specifically ask for candy bars, or maybe? is that all he had? I definitely what, did. What did you have to do in return? Because Joe got mixed up in that at one point. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I got, a, a I got unentangled though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unentangled. Nothing so far. Nothing so far, but you two know, people you were in know. the bed. One person was in the chair. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Next you know, thing, the goes. doors locked behind me, and yeah. it was all on. Oh yeah. my god! Hey, would you mind if we gave away those jar of peaches today as, as a prize? <laughs> <before>? <laughs> Do you want to? Right. I mean, I think they're still fresh. No, no they're right. unopened. Yeah, yeah, they're goodbye twenty twenty six. I feel like that's un- unhealthy. All I'm right, uh, let's, uh, Carmen. What are we giving away today? Okay, so we have tickets for Stone Temple Pilots. Yep. Jane's Addiction. Yep. Imposters of Rock. Yep. Uh, nope, not those. Ingve Malmstein. Uh huh. And the Mike Calta tailgate. All right. Oh. We got all that happened. In fact, uh, in the newspaper today, in the uh, Tampa Bay Times, is a big write up on the brisket shop and Danny and the uh, and grilling provisions in the brisket shop. It's uh, it's good, man. It made me want to drive over there and eat some food right now. Do they have wild uh, tuna quinoa I, salad? I don't think peaches? they do, but I could well, probably peaches. bring my own peaches mm-hmm. and then incorporate okay. that into know. a brisket if I wanted to. Missing out. I know. I feel like you're on a terrible episode of Chopped. Yeah, <laughs> here's some peaches, some wild tuna in a can, and some worthers. Go! Yeah. Don't forget to despair. All right, let's give some stuff away with a little sparkle. Here we go. Carmen is the keeper of sparkle. Pat Pap is your judge and scorekeeper. Carmen, what are we playing today? Oh, my God. Uh, you guys good? Okay, today we're going to play Can You Answer These General Knowledge Questions? That all share a theme. Oh, I'm not going to tell you the theme, but you're going to have to figure it out. 
right. and that will go into play with the names. So make sure you're following the theme, All right. even theme. with the names. Got a theme. Got a theme. Got a theme. Got a theme. Figure it out. Okay, your first one. What movie directed by Greta Gerwig earned Barbie, Oscar? Barbie. Yes, Galvin. What is the name of Donald Trump's youngest child? Baron. Galvin. Oh, Judge. That was Galvin. Ah. <laughs> what exercise equipment is used for activities such as deadlifting? Bar. Barbell. Barbell, Spanish. What surname is shared by Marvel superhero Hawkeye and Red Barry. and Red Cross pioneer Clara Barton. Mike Kelta? What U.S. president is the only one to have been born in Hawaii? Bartholomew. B Obama. Barack, ah. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Yep. Bar yeah. It's Will we be, change the rules? No, it's got to nope. be the right thing, though. The, I, I they don't specifically apply here. said. Yep. The Jeopardy rules don't What'd apply you say? here. Can I, I have the whole name? Nope. I said that you have to follow the theme for names. So if you don't know the theme, then Obama would not work. I said Barack. Yeah, but I said it first. No, I said it first. Oh, I said it Judge? First. Is the answer Barack Obama or I said, just Barack? I just said Barack. Then, it, then it's Gio. Said Obama. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. What did you say, Carmen? Or did you not hear? I said Galvin. <clears throat> then why are we going to the judge? You asked. Who asked? Gio asked. I did. Yeah. Okay. So we can I just ask the judge now? Whatever. That's what we always do. Yes, you can. We've always done that. That is true. All right. There's All your right. one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it back. <laughs> I was totally ahead of you. Okay. All right. Your next one. Cartoon character that has been voiced by Nancy Cartwright. Bart, uh, Bart. Bart. Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson. Well, well now why are we doing us? that? We just did the thing. I said Barack Obama first, and he said no. Yeah, under that, then Galvin should get the point for yes. sure. Yes. Because I all I said was Barack, and then Bar Galvin said Barack Obama. Yes. Right, and that's why I gave it to Galvin. Okay, so then uh, I have four points. Right, and that, but that's why I gave it to Galvin. All right, thank you. So Joe didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. Not right. Bad. All right, so I have four points, Joe. You? And he does yeah. not have the last one, whatever it was. No, I 100% agree with that now. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so Gio gets no point, and Galvin gets uh, Now you have four points. Right. Okay. Done. <laughs> and I have one. It's a lot. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, your next one. Grain important in beer brewing. Barley. Barley. Spanish. What Spanish city? Barcelona. Barcelona. Yes. Pap, pap. Galvin. Gave it back. There's the one. <laughs> Make it back. Ups. That was 100% me. Though, Make them so. ups. And you know that. <laughs> you know that candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> what rank falls below a Viscount? Bar what? count. Uh, what rank? Barrister? Uh, Baron? Oh, yeah, 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 I couldn't think of it. Mike Kelta. Um, what British bank has been the sponsor of the Premier League since 2003? Mm. What British bank has been the sponsor of the Premier League? Barclays. Mike Kelta and Pat Pap. We are halfway there. Mm. Gio is not on the board. He has a total of zero points. Spanish with two points. Michael with three. And Galvin is your leader right now. He's winning with five. All right. We're doing... <laughs> Keeps going. We're, we're doing general trivia. Themed general trivia. Your next one. What exercise method is named for its ballet essential? Bar. Mike... What journalist became the first woman to host Barbara network? Walters. Yes. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> what country's flag has a trident in the middle on a Barbados. yellow? Spanish. What chemical element? Barium. <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Surname of the president from the West Wing. Bartlett. Calvin. 
What cheap steel fencing material is used for security or defense? Barbed wire. What's your name? Geo. Sorry. Um, by what name is celebrity chef Ina Garten known? Also, Here the for name... Contessa. Spanish. What 2002 movie starring Ice Cube and Cedric the Entertainer? Uh, Barbershop. Galvin. And Pat Pat. We're on the last three. A fart. Yep, oh that was a my fart. god! Yeah. Ooh, that was Spanish. Spanish. That was the candy bar. Oh, candy bar over here. Jeez. But now paydays. Uh, okay. With nougat in it. <laughs> Doing a quinoa. Quinoa. Geo has a single solitary point. Spanish and Michael are both tied with four, and Galvin is your leader right now. He's winning oh. with nine. You can't fart in the final three. <laughs> I can't. I had to let it go. If I would have held it fart. in, it would have been disaster. <laughs> That's wild tuning in the camp. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Out the can. <laughs> All right. Last three. General oh. themed knowledge. That's not too bad. It's bad. What Dungeons and Dragons character class is Barbarian. Eight? Spanish. Nerd. Yeah. What four season dark comedy starred Bill Hader and Henry Winkler? Barry. 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 Pap Pap. Galvin. Galvin is the point. And your last one. What Mexican cooking term for beef that has been Barbacoa. Spanish. So were they all bees? Was that the thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your final score, Gio with a single point, Michael with four, Spanish with six, and Galvin is your triumphant champion today. He won with ten. Kachaya! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. No thanks to you, Joe. Yeah. Galvin, pick a All line. Right. Uh, I'll go line five. Line five. Good morning. Who's this? Oh, oh I'll go line four. Denied. No Good tuna for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Oh, who's this? Hello. Yes. Hi. What is your name? Joe. Joe, you're the winner. I'm going to put you on hold. Carmen will grab your door on the break, and you get to pick a prize. All right, buddy? It's a peach. All right. Thank you. All right, Joe. Good job. Do you want the peaches? I suggest the, the peaches. <laughs> They're fresh. Over the tuna quinoa? Oh, really? the tuna quinoa in a is can? good. Yeah. Wild. That's been in your, in your back pocket since you got here? <laughs> it is in it, man. Uh, Galvin, what do we have coming up in news? Uh, coming up in news today, pay for the sun. Mike won't like this in the old Nebraska screw job. Oh, oh boy, I've been there. Yeah. All right, we'll take a quick break. Galvanation News. We'll do that next on 1025 The Bone. If you buy your tickets, use the code word Calta and you get a discount. You can get $25 off. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. uh, that is all happening Saturday at Ruth Eckert Hall. I'm excited for this. Yeah, very much. Yeah, we practice this week. We feel mm -hmm. we feel good. We feel tight. We were in we're wearing uh, glitter spandex. Yes. You're gonna love it. Eh, you know, yeah. we usually do that though. So I don't know what I'm wearing. I didn't even think about that. Oh, man. Get it together. I mean, we gotta figure gotta, it out. I got to pick a boa from the whole deal. <laughs> I have a couple you can borrow. Thank you, Jesse. No problem. Uh, I, uh, were you really crapping this whole time? Yeah. Uh, all right. By the way, I'd like to point out, Mike, how is he How is he pooping again? We're like, Joe goes, look what he eats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you were pooping uh, during the show, and then yesterday you were pooping after the show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yesterday I I waited till after the show. Today I couldn't wait. Oh, I've tried. Mm. All right. I tried. Um, and then you know I got to brush the full. Oh, I got a full, full brush. I mean, you know, I got responsibilities. I don't want to think about this anymore. Time to check in with Galvin. He's got today's news. <laughs> Time to check in with Galvin. He's got today's news. Hello. The show. <laughs> It would not come up, Carmen. Did you guys not have me on? No, you did. I had to press it like three times before we could finally hear you. Mm. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Listen, you... I played it. But you... yeah. uh, what do we have in news today, Galvin? Uh, today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. Pelts has six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. You can stop in there and great, get some great deals on shoes that are in there in stock. They have all the different styles and brands. They have the 3D foot scanner where you can uh, get a scan of your foot. It'll email you all the information. And that way, you know you'll have the perfect fit. That's going to help you. You're not going to have any knee problems or back problems. You may be walking around with shoes that are too small, too big, not wide enough, any of that stuff. 
Pelts uh, Shoe Fit experts are going to be able to help you out. So stop in there today. Make sure you tell them Galvin sent you. I'm uh, putting a picture of all the food that Spanish brings up on oh, yeah. our Instagram yeah. at, at the Mike Calvin Show. Very nice. Uh, well, I know we're excited about football. Another thing I think everybody's excited about is the uh, presidential debate with just 15 days left until the scheduled September 10th presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. Negotiations been uh, between the two campaigns have hit an impasse over whether the candidates' microphones will be muted when it's not their turn to speak. If you remember, whenever we saw the uh, Trump and Biden one, yeah. they did that and stuff. But since Biden now is not in there, they're talking about what they're going to do. Uh, one of the uh, Biden team's demands, which Trump uh, team agreed to, was microphones would be muted throughout the debate that they had. But Biden is no longer running for president. And Harris campaign wants the microphones to be hot at all time during the ABC debate. Uh, as it has been, you know, in uh, all the other presidential debates, I think they're looking for Trump to say stuff oh, yeah. in between that's going to, yeah. you know, get Listen, him in trouble. Or I think that's what, what people want to hear. I think this works in his favor uh, if you keep no. the hot mics no. on. Oh, are if, you kidding if, me? If, if he, you're a Trump supporter, it does, but that doesn't win votes. Right. But can I tell you one of the things that everybody remembers, and it's because the mics were on the entire time, was Hillary Clinton saying the stuff and then just wrong yeah, yeah. Just, but, you'd be in jail but yeah. if you're on the fence about trump that could lose you or it could win you over like and, it did the first time mm. but in the first time it was like we'd never seen that before it was crazy right now it's the same act trump's had for eight years well and this is why it's being debated you know yeah. what i mean because yeah. uh there's points to both that may be good for him maybe bad for him yeah because i mean i felt like the the biden debate that he had this year the best thing Trump did, that he was very calm. He was just talking about the issues. It was talking about Biden's it record. It wasn't as much fun, I will and, tell you that. Yeah. Uh, although, right. when, when Biden went off into left field and Trump goes, I don't even know what he said. Yeah. I don't think he knows what he said. Uh, yeah. That was great. He made him look like an idiot. Yeah, he but really a lot, did. But like after that, a lot more people came away saying Trump looked the most presidential, presidential yeah. right, than yeah. he ever had. So that was that was a, like yeah. A, yeah, so that's maybe not, you that's not him. working for him. The Trump He's crowd seven yes. points behind in the uh, in in the ratings right in the ratings in the uh, polls right now. He, that's not the stuff that works for Trump. He, he's got to go in with what got him there. He's got to go in being the, the the Trump that everybody wants to see. The one that calls her out. The one that calls her a liar and questions whether or not she's black and does all that stuff. That's what Trump fans want to yeah, see. He's still going to do that. Mm -hmm. Like You don't need your mic to be hot to do that. Yeah, listen, Galvin brought up the best one. When Hillary Clinton was talking, he would just go wrong. That was no, it, nobody done that before. Right. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was what made us all go. Here's a guy who's different. Here's a guy who is doing things that has never been done before. I'm telling you, that's this is gonna. It's gonna be better for him if he has his hot mic on. Uh, so coming off the uh, big uh, stuff, the big story about the uh, Florida parks where they may put up oh, uh, hotels and all that stuff that Mike loves easy. and putting in the pickleball courts and all that. They're working on that and people are talking about it and. Uh, I heard rumors that the uh, group that was investing and going to do that has now pulled out. Uh -huh. That's rumors. Man, I don't, I don't know. But this comes off the heels of that. Americans National Parks just got their biggest single donation ever. $100 million from the Lilly Endowment, uh, one of the world's largest private charity foundations. The National Park Foundation plans to announce where uh, the uh, first round of money is going later this year, but they call the donation transformative. All of the money will be used to address the needs of America's 400 plus national parks. I hope they're putting hotels in there. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think that's what they're going to do. I heard. I'm not sure about Spanish. That. Yes, I noticed the evolution of your um, of your Instagram name. Yo, yeah. You went from spiritual Spanish to well, what? yeah, Spanish EP, right? To spiritual Anthony An Spanish. 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 Yeah, make it longer. Yep. And then now you're what? Soul Spanish. Soul. What? Soul? soul? Can I just say this? Yeah. Can I make I your soul glow, ring. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say this? Of you do you whatever can. you want. Shark is bringing you down, man. All right. Uh, Shark is bringing you down. I don't think so. Okay. Why? What do you think? What do you got? Soul. Soul Spanish. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Is it like that you are the soul Spanish or like soul Spanish? That would be S O L E. Or, yeah, that would yeah. be S O L E. Or like. Uh, 
hey, Spanish guy, soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul. Soul man. Yeah. Like if you're hanging out with Ian and you change your name to Soul Spanish, I'd be like, all right, Soul Brother. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not. Oh, maybe we'll go Soul Brother Spanish. Oh, that's not bad. SBS? Yeah. Stolen Valor. Yeah. No, it doesn't work. All right, all right, all right. I'm just saying. Right. You don't want to. You don't want to do like everybody else and do Spanish radio or radio Spanish. No, no, no. <laughs> Spanish. Geo, he's talking about you. No, Geo's not that. Geo's what? Geo Is on he... air, I think. On which radio, one? Radio Geo. On no. Instagram, yeah. Oh, are you Radio Geo? <laughs> no, it's Sorry. Geo Radio. G-R- yeah. G-R- yeah. radio. Hey, listen, I I have yeah. Radio Galvin oh, as an yeah. email, so whatever, no big deal. <laughs> I mean, you. Had, Soul Spanish is weird. So, uh, what, what is the next evolution of that? I don't know. I don't know. But I so bloody yeah. heart Spanish. No, 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 no. Is it because I'm changing the name so much? Just what you're changing it's, it to. Yeah, I'm going to change mine to Clam Slam Geo. Oh, oh man, I, you, went, <laughs> you went from spiritual to soul. Same thing. No. Yeah. It's weird. It's not weird. I mean, you've thought everything I've done since January is weird. Oh, it was before January. Well, you've been very vocal about it since January. Yeah. I just think Shark's bringing you down. He's pulling you towards that side of the. World. What about uh, uh, peaches in Spanish? Like peaches in Arabic. Soul peaches? Right. Canned Spanish. Spanish. Can oh. Spanish? I do like that. Quinoa Spanish. Can, uh, wild quinoa Spanish? Too much. You take yeah. All right. All right. Well, no, just I am Spanish. I'm excited. Like, yeah. I am Spanish. Soul, soul, yeah, he loves the soul. He's yeah, got to have yeah. a piece of his heart in yeah, each one of those names. True. True. Uh, That's true. So you know how they say, think outside the box. You know, come up with different ideas and yeah. stuff. This is a different idea, and it's interesting. But I feel like this is going to ruin the world. Okay. <clears throat> there is a tech startup company called Reflect Orbital is planning to launch a constellation of mirrored satellites into orbit, so they can beam sunlight anywhere on Earth. And sell people sunlight after dark. Oh, I, I remember that they had talked about doing that, putting the mirrors up there so that they could have places that were 24 hours of sunlight. Doesn't that sound crazy though? Like, so what do you do? Type in your address and be like, give me three yeah. hours of sunlight. I'm having a party. Yeah, I you guess you can, yeah. that's weird. But can't, wouldn't they just like burn you up? Well, there's a possibility, you know? You know? Wouldn't that well, ruin the ecosystem? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's another thing too. Is yeah, is okay. So let's say we put in Mike's address and we're like, hey, we're going to be out at the pool tonight at midnight, but we want it to be sunny. And they go, oh, okay, uh, instead of going eight, they hit eight zero and it just fire oh. and we're dead. Plus, all the animals <laughs> and the birds start yeah. freaking out. Yeah. The, uh, well, yeah. The eclipse what? happened. All the birds are freaking out. Yeah. Right, nuts. right. Yeah. Like Mike was saying with the environment. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, I think everything's uh, set perfectly, you know, right. for the fact that humans can live in this environment, you know what I mean? Like no, no other planets, yeah. whatever. It's all here. Let's start messing with why, that. Let's why, start why? messing with that. So I'm on, I'm on their website. Yeah. And it shows a map and it's dark. And as you hover over it, it becomes <laughs> light. And it says reserve a spot of light. Oh. Applications close this October. Limited availability. Apply for sunshine. Uh, remember, uh, what was it? Uh, Truman Show. Yeah. Where he was like, yeah, bring up the sun, bring up the sun. And they brought it up. Yeah. So that they could find him. Oh, oh my look, God. you brought me right to Tampa. Oh, no. Oh, it's so weird. I don't, I can't see how this could be, how the government could let this happen. Yeah. It seems like a bad it idea. It would affect too many things. Yeah. Uh, there is a, uh, 30 year old wedding photographer in Minnesota and he is facing charges for filming the bride naked while she was getting ready in her bridal suite. Oh, not cool. So he set up That's a kind of cool. He set up a hidden camera that recorded her in her underwear with oh. her top exposed. Uh, police were able to identify the 27 year old bride who actually watched the footage with them and confirmed, yeah, this is me. And they were like, nice. Uh, <laughs> police all only uh, found out about it because the photographer's wife turned him in. Uh, she gave them a thumb drive that had video plus more sexually explicit material on it. They didn't elaborate on what the other material was, but uh, it sounds like this is, an, uh, is not an isolated incident. This if I was like, embezzling money from somewhere, I don't think my wife would turn me in. If I was secretly recording a woman getting dressed, my wife would, I think she'd be so mad. Not not in from a cheating aspect, but that I'd be doing that to the woman that she would turn me in mm, in a second. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty scummy to do. 
Uh, his website is still up. Uh, it promises to v- provide, quote, timeless yet captivating photos and videos <laughs> that'll do justice to your uniquely perfect love story. Whether you know about it or not. Uh, he's due in court next week, facing one misdemeanor charge of interfering with privacy. The maximum sentence is $3,000 fine and one year in jail. That, oh, That's year it? Jail. Yeah, year in jail and $3,000 fine, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it seems like it should be more. And, right. well... Uh, I would imagine that they're probably uh, trying to identify the other women. If there are other women, it said there is other stuff, but it doesn't necessarily say that it's other women. But if it is, you know, they were trying yeah. to identify them and then, you know, 10 of them, then that's 30,000, 10 years, you know, so. We'll but see. again, I don't understand why you have to identify them. If they, if he has it, isn't that evidence enough? You well, have to have proof. The, yeah. But you also have to the have proof a, is the video. You have to have a plaintiff though, to do that. I mean, the state could go against him, but I don't know if they are allowed to do that. It's kind of like having to have a body. If right. you don't have a body in a murder trial, it makes it a lot more difficult to yeah. get, you know, somebody charged with murder. I get it, Not but I'm possible, just saying, but more difficult. But because there's video, clearly they, there's more victims. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's just proof. Like you don't need them to come forward to say I'm a victim. It's, well, you do because prove, prove, prove that they, yeah, prove that they uh, weren't know. in on it and they were just right. acting like he, you know, filmed yeah. them without them knowing. So yeah, like that. that's the reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, listen to this. You know, I'm all about dogs getting adopted. A woman in Tampa named Dominique Amorosa <laughs> uh, runs a nonprofit with her mom called Rags to Riches Animal Rescue. And they've been looking for the right person to adopt a two year old pug that has special needs. His name is Bluey, and he got hit by a car a while back, but he's still happy and full of life, but has needs it, uh, special needs. He needs a special wheelchair to get around. Over the weekend, a woman who wanted to adopt him came by Amorosa's place to check him out. But it turned out she had other dogs, so Amorosa decided that probably wasn't a good fit with this dog having special needs and stuff. The woman responded by pulling out a gun. They were outside, <laughs> and the woman grabbed the gun from her car, cocked it, and put it to the back of Amorosa's head, made her crouch down, and then pressed it against her temple. Whoa! Amorosa screamed, uh, and uh, which prompted a neighbor to come outside and call 911. Thankfully, the woman left and no one was hurt. Police tracked her down and confiscated her gun. Uh, last we heard, she hadn't been arrested yet. They're still deciding what to charge her with. Serious dog owner. Really want to? <laughs> yeah, I am going to take care of this dog. I, no, can but, I tell you? That it seemed like there's more to this yes. story, and that's why they haven't arrested her yet. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Sure. I don't really know what it is, but it seems like there's something we're not we're not hearing. Yet. Yeah, once you pull out a gun, though, man, that's that's some serious stuff. But if you pull out a gun, cock it, and put it to somebody's head, and you're not in jail, something else is going on. Right? Yeah. So, so. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to see a little dog in his little wheelchair. No, <laughs> pull, it around, pull it around his little butt. His name's Bluey. Bluey. I have a hot or not for you guys. Oh, good. This is out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Police were called home offices. Yeah. (laughs) Police were called to a vape shop after a person saying that there was a man uh, after a person called uh, saying that there was a man with a pair of scissors stuck in his head. What? When officers arrived shortly after 2 p.m., the 29 year old man reported to LPD that he had gotten into an argument with 33 year old Alyssa Rogers when she struck him in the head. The man thought he was struck by the woman's fist. However, when uh, he later went to the vape shop, he was informed that he had been stabbed with a pair of scissors that were still in his head. The vape (laughs) shop. (laughs) The uh, man was taken to the local hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. Rogers was arrested for second-degree assault and use of a weapon to commit a felony. So she is from Lincoln, Nebraska. She is 33 years old. Her name is Alyssa Rogers. She stabbed the guy in the head with a pair of scissors. He didn't even know until he went to the vape shop. Mike Kelta, hot or not? Uh, Alyssa, hot. You're going to say hot. Alyssa from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, special use of the tools. She's hot. Okay. Gio, what do you got? Not hot. Not Day- hot. Dayton, uh, vape shop guy, stabbed him with the scissors. Yeah. No, he's crazy. They're both crazy. Guys that vape are gross. Yeah, All exactly. Right. Oh, Not sorry, hot. Joe. <laughs> uh, Spanish, what do you think? <laughs> I'm going to go hot. You're going to say hot? <laughs> yeah. All right. Carmen, how about you? You had me at Nebraska. That is not hot. Not hot. No. <laughs> All right. So uh, Gio and Carmen both say not hot. Spanish and Mike both say hot. Yeah. There's Alyssa. She is That's not hot. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. What are we saying? Not hot. <laughs> What do you mean? What are we saying? Your perfect match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she loves to chuck clouds. She, you know what she looks like? She looks boozy fat. 
right? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't she look like she's yeah. all? Yeah, I bet like, her bottom is shaped like a prune. She yeah. could probably clean herself up if she really wanted to. Maybe. Uh, she yeah. Doesn't want to? I mean, you're gonna have to lose, uh, you know, yeah. a good thirty pounds, and you can wash that hair. You can tell that hair is just dirty. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Not hot. Yeah. That she is... wears a lot of sweatpants. Oh, when I don't think she owns regular <laughs> pants. Yeah. I don't think she owns regular <laughs> pants. Mm. Speaking of wearing sweatpants, <clears throat> Taco Bell. Uh, it says some of its locations are ditching breakfast. Has anybody been doing breakfast at Taco Bell? Uh, nah, nah, but no. we're here, so you know we can't. Yeah, can't but do I, I don't know whether you know. Yeah. I've have... gone a handful of times since they've had breakfast. They say only a small minority minority of uh, franchisees are opting to do so, but uh, other places will still have the breakfast. But I don't like breakfast. Like I don't like eggs. Yeah. So, uh, but if I go to Taco Bell and I can get a burrito at ten o'clock in the morning, I would probably do that. But it's a breakfast burrito. Yeah, I know. But if yeah. you give me a regular well, burrito, are I think, you I think, I think regular burrito at ten o'clock. I think they have that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, I, Carmen. What uh, like if I don't know what time they open? By I six? don't. Know, but I'm just saying, like, if you really wanted like a bean burrito or because they still have all the meat and stuff like that, you could just order whatever you wanted without egg. Oh, okay. and you just have a regular burrito. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? The times I've gone, there's like this. Uh, Sausage hash brown breakfast yeah. crunch wrap thing. Yeah, they basically delicious. put potato and egg and, yeah, and, sausage. and yeah, yeah in their burritos. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Some of them aren't mm -hmm. gonna have it, but uh a bunch will. Uh Carmen, hit me with some taps. Okay. WWE legend Sid Vicious has uh passed away. His family announced it on Monday. He was 63 years old. According to uh, Sid's son, Gunner, he died after oh. a lengthy battle with cancer. Great name, Gunner. Yeah. There is uh, Gunner, Sid up there. Gunner Justice. Yeah. Uh, Sid was a big dude. Yeah, he was good. Psycho Sid, like Sid. was yeah. a big dude, and he looked crazy. He was a little bit crazy, and uh, Sid's most famous thing is he jumped off the ring and snapped his leg right in half. Oh, you remember that? No. He, he jumped. I uh, could see if you can find that, Joe. Sid jumped mm -hmm. off the ring, uh, and his and his leg snapped right below oh. his knee oh. and just dangled there. And I had the opportunity to talk to uh, Joe Theismann yeah. the week after that happened, and I said, because they were friends, too, and I said, have you seen Sid's accident? And he said, no. He goes, it's hard for me to watch. He goes, I still haven't watched mine yet. But I read about it, and he's like, what you're going to find for Sid is that they are going to fuse it back together, and he is going to have to immediately start walking on it. And I went, oh, really? And he goes, yeah, because that is the number one thing that heals it. He said, when I had my accident, they, they fused it back together, and then the pressure on it causes the bone to fuse uh, together. Fuse together. Right. Yeah, so uh, you have to see that. I want you to watch the Sid. Did, did you find it, Joe? Yep. Uh, can you put it up there? No, no. Okay, oh, good. Yeah, just do it. Just show show Galvin and show Bone TV. Yeah, I remember that. Can you see it, Galvin? That's uh, that's WCW. Yep, that was old WCW. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, Why? It just oh. snaps. What? Psycho yeah, Sid, yeah. man. I don't think there's anything better than the backyard wrestling where the guy goes off the top ropes oh, yeah. and his both knees go backwards. Oh, that yeah. one is <laughs> good. so good, man. Oh, oh that is brutal. Yeah, that's oh, rough. Man. Those uh, kind of things or the uh, MMA stuff where they get kicked and the leg just breaks. The dude, Corey, some Corey, who was on Ultimate Fighter. And he just throws a leg click and it, you hear it crack and his, it wraps under the guy's leg almost. Oh, yeah, it ju oh. it's just swinging. Yeah. It was like, it's Corey something. I, yeah. I can't remember his You're name. You're right. It, yeah. It's something like Corey Alderson or Henderson or something like yeah. that. I remember that dude. Yeah. Have you, see, have you seen the people who like have their feet up on the dash? Oh, oh yeah, get yeah. a car accident or something. Oh. Yeah, I said to Amanda all the time, yeah. I go, like I, I do what you want, but I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wipe your butt when you snap both uh, your legs off and you can't move around the house. If you're parked, that's one thing, but when you're driving, do not put your feet on the dashboard. No, no. people don't realize that the airbag goes off. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Put your legs back. It's yeah. gonna snap you in two. Yeah. 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 That is wild. Ugh. Do you remember a couple weeks ago when I uh, we started talking about the Costco guys? Yeah. We bring the oh, I hate them. They're all in my algorithm. They show up all the time. We bring the to you. Now that's not Tim Walls and his son, is it? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay. This is the Costco guys. All right. Every afternoon on your FYP. 
This is uh, Big around Justice the and AJ. Around the corner, pass three. We pick the food so loud, the whole earth shakes. With double chunk chocolate cookies. And chicken. I see Bobby and Max doing this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, we call him Bill they're Joe. here right now in Newport Ritchie. Oh, uh, I thought you meant at your house. I was like, oh, I'm trying so hard. I send the messages. I was like, listen to me. I used to hate watch you. Now I watch you all the time because I love Oof. you. You got to come on. The are show. they doing some sort of appearance thing or what are they they're doing? They're blowing up right now. So they're yeah. doing uh, videos and collaborations with other. I guess there's a, uh, they did it with the Rizzler. Have you seen that little kid, little fat kid that dances? Yeah. I and think then so. there's a guy in Newport Ritchie who's very very popular and they're doing videos with him right now yeah, so i'm trying hard to go yeah trying hard to get him here into the uh into the studio i was reading an article how like the dad has been desperately trying to be famous on the internet <laughs> for like a decade oh look they keep pumping, going until something yeah, until something clicks. they've been pumping out these videos forever trying to get internet fame uh spanish that'd be a good instagram name the rizzler oh that'd it's be already bad. taken it's soul, already taken soul rizzler. Soul rizzler. <laughs> why soul <laughs> what do you mean I think I it's think pretty self-explanatory. But I think you, uh, my answer would also be pretty self-explanatory. Oh, please explain it. Because I'm pretty spiritual. And that's spiritual. That's not soul. Soulful. No. I, I think when you think of soul, you think of soul music. I think you're thinking yeah. of that type of stuff. But yeah. really, you know, the soul man, your you know, soul in your, you feel it in your soul. You know what I mean? That type of stuff. If I yeah, may, you know, you don't need to get so hung up on oh. like, you know, the ticky tacky. Oh, you know what oh, I mean? Oh. You just gotta let it go, man. Yeah, guy. If, if, yeah. I'm with Spanish just, on this. You gotta just <laughs> let it be. Save it for Saturday. All right. <laughs> I was Corey Hill, by the way, the UFC fighter. Corey Hill. I was yeah. so close. Slappy. Yeah. <laughs> Samsonite. <laughs> uh, Soul Saturday. Soul Saturday. Oh, taking over? Or Soul Sad. We'll throw some paper towels and, and get me all me. We're pushing weight in the gym. I can't stop. I know all the words. I can't stop. Uh, By the way, pushing weight isn't in the gym. Pushing weight is drugs. First, it can never be a new yeah. Yeah. And mother of big justice even bring you the bone. We bring the bone. That's what we <laughs> Oh, now they got the whole family? The whole family. Yeah, the whole yeah. family's in, yeah. What is that? Mother daughter? Mother daughter, yeah. And then they were saying like the chicken bake is one of those unhealthy things you could possibly eat. Yeah, I don't and it's the other thing is so double chunk yeah, chunk of chips. It's not like it's not like he's selling health over <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Spanish, get over there. Double yeah, chunk, yeah, I love chicken it. bake. Yeah, oh, get it got all. fruity pebbles cookie. Oh. Sometimes I would go to Costco with you and get a, a chicken bake. Oh, he I used to be father and son. Yeah. No, yeah. We, yeah. I would love that. I That's have a great soul, idea. Soul Mike and Soul Mike. Thank have you. Son. Uh, your son doesn't want to hang out with you. I have a son. Today's his birthday. Happy birthday, son. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank they, you for the birthday wishes. They bring the boom. He brings the peaches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> peaches. <laughs> peaches. <laughs> peaches. <laughs> the peaches. Peaches for me. You had me at the first half. Millions man. of peaches. Oh, soul Spanish peaches. Carmen, hit me with some more taps. I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, Mariah Carey. All right, not so loud. I'm killing me. Uh, Mariah Carey's mother and sister both died on the same day over the weekend. Different, not together. Yeah, they're not giving details on what exactly happened. You, you assume car accident, I or whatever. But duel. It. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> shot each other uh, ten paces to turn Don <laughs> shot each other. Uh yeah, so I don't know exactly what happened, but uh sad news for Mariah Carey. God, both mother and sister dying on the scene. And she had a sister who died of AIDS too, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she's striking out of that. Yeah, I believe so. Will you Google that? Will you oh. see? I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Oh. Yeah, they uh they uh died on the same day, nobody knows why, and everybody's just like, Oh, weird. Yeah. Let it go. Speaking of AIDS, Scott Thorson passed away at the age of 65. Did he have the AIDS? I don't know. Oh. But I mean, <laughs> Wait, what? Well, no, I'm saying it's not a far stretch. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I, I'm not saying he has AIDS. I'm just... Former guest of the show. Uh, if you don't know who Scott is, you may know whenever you hear, Hey, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, Liberace's lover. He was played by Matt Damon in the uh, Behind the Cabalabra, Candelabra. And it was, it was on HBO. Yeah, it was a great Kirk. Uh, uh, what's his name? Michael Douglas. I hope they show that again now that he died. Like, I hope they bring that uh, that movie back on HBO. Yeah. That was, that was good. really good. Yeah. And remember yeah. Rob Lowe is this uh, plastic yeah. surgeon, yes. uh, yeah. cat face doctor. The sister See? did have HIV. <gasps> she did, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. See? Allison. I know. Yeah. HIV different than AIDS. Yeah. Is it? Well, I'm just. Yes. I, know. I don't want the hotel people to yell at you. <laughs> I know, but. It doesn't say that's what she died from, though, but she had right. HIV. Well, if she had it and she's not here anymore. Yeah. Congenital different, heart failure. Different sister, saying. right? 
Yeah, not yeah. this one. Yeah. So she's down two sisters and a niece. No, mother. A mo- two I sisters mean, and a mother. A mother. Sorry. Yeah. Two sisters and a mother. And we're- boom. Oh. oh. Maybe it's she died from the boom. Bake. Uh, are you ready for some football? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for some Carrie Underwood? Uh, <laughs> Carrie Underwood just dropped a teaser for the 2024 Sunday Night Football opening theme song to get you all fired up. I got it. You want to hear it? It's what we do. <laughs> we bring the boom. That's different. We bring the boom. That's not it. I would rather see these two sing than them carry underwear. Uh, the official season kicks off on Thursday, September 5th, but uh, you can take a listen right now. Here we go. A perfect Sunday night. Uh, That's just a little, little clip of it. But just hearing that uh, Al Michaels voice in the beginning, was it Al Michaels? I don't think Joe that was Buck, Al Michaels. It was. Just hearing that, that announcer voice gets me all excited. Uh, Los Angeles Rams versus the Detroit Lions in Detroit. So Matthew Stafford returning, returning home to Detroit to play against the uh, Lions. Should be a good game there. Yeah, mm-hmm. and not this weekend. Don't get excited. You got college football this weekend. Oh, there's some great college football games. This but weekend. it's not until uh, next week that we get next week. real football. Well, Thursday, September 5th is the uh, first game. Nobody's playing uh, fantasy football. Except no, for me. I've never played. I've never no. been into fantasy. Well, I, I, why I don't actually, you do it? I figured you'd be, be more up uh, your alley. Uh, I used to play, but then I took a season off and I didn't miss it at all. Never went back. It's uh, I got enough stuff to do without having to worry about my lineup and if you want to win, it's tough. You got to like really pay attention to that kind of stuff. I'm trying to win this time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pay work. attention. And like Chad last year, he played, he's playing again this year, but he played last year. He won every single game and still ended up losing yeah. the league. Wow. That happens yeah. all like, the time. Yeah. yeah. So he was like, he was so bad. He was like, this is crap. Yeah. 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 At, but, at one point I was in like four or five leagues at once. Oh. So like I had every player. So you can't even enjoy the games because you want the Bucks to win, but you need this other team guy to get like 10 points. And I'm like, I can't even enjoy the games anymore. Yeah. It's too much going on. We used to have a good solid family league where we all played. Yeah. Uh, I think I might try to bring that back. I enjoy the, like I'm in a league that uh, just like pick up, like picking, making picks. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, like, that's I enjoy better. That better. Like what we do. Yeah. Pick them. Yeah. I'm worry. in a pick them league too with the hard rock. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's my favorite. That's one. the best I, one for sure. Yeah, I don't like rooting against my teams, and I end up doing that with fantasy football. To, yeah. Uh, yeah. Boo! Yeah. I don't like that at all. Uh, Danny Jansen, do you know who he is? Yeah, Dan Jansen, the Olympic Danny Dan Jansen. No, there was a Danny Jansen, I think, whatever. But Danny Jansen is the uh, uh, MLB player. Uh, he became the first major league baseball player in history to play for both teams in a single game. How? Because it was a game that was postponed on June 26th. There was a rain delay. And when it resumed that night, he had been traded in oh, between. So he started cool. the game with the other <laughs> Shut team. Up. He got traded to that. You team. can't so, tell me they didn't do that on purpose. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know why they're doing it like a crazy thing. Well, I believe he's a catcher. I believe he's a catcher. But uh, yeah, isn't that hilarious? That's funny. Did his yeah. team win? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm not sure. One of them did. Uh, so we talked about it the other day. The Oasis guys had been teasing, saying maybe a reunion, all this cryptic stuff. Well, they will tour in the UK and Ireland this summer, 2025. Uh, coming up, you know, uh, tickets go on sale this Saturday. Uh, they're going to be in Ireland and they're going to be in the UK. You can go to their website, Oasis, and uh, find out what? Eight. Eight over under before they quit. Oh, yeah. eight four. shows. Well, wow, four. four they start fighting. Eight they quit. Yeah, I take together. the under for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way they make it through this. Uh, so that's going to be over there. I don't know whether they make it to America or not. I, I would say if if they want money. If you're a huge fan, yeah, get to one of the first couple shows. If they want money, they're going to do it over here. Oh, sure. They're going to make some money over there, but they're going to make real money by selling on stadiums over here. Right. Do we get any new Oasis music or just the old hits? You know what? I bet you they have a ton that they never release. So yeah. you'll probably end up getting some new Oasis. Now, I'm not arguing with you. Okay. They're selling out stadiums. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred wow. percent. Right, if Coldplay is selling out stadiums, Oasis is selling out stadiums. I mean, <laughs> think about it. You, they they've been not together for so long, and their music is still so popular. You know. Mm. Yeah, I think they sell out stadiums. Mm. All right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what do I know? Yeah, I maybe know. I could see that. I, yeah. I I don't know. I know that uh, the people that lo- like them love them. You know what I mean? Right. The people that are into them are really really into them. I'm very much. I would go yeah. to the show. 
I probably would. Yeah, I like them. I would go to the show. I think it would be a, it's, it's a fun sing along night. Of, well, if it was here, I'd one hundred percent want to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not traveling to go see it. No, I'm not going to no. Miami to go see it. I go but, to Orlando. Yeah, eh, maybe Orlando. Maybe. Yeah, but that, but that's uh, that's it. I think it, I think Camping World Stadium. I think Raymond James Stadium. I think it could sell out those places. Uh, uh, really? You think Coldplay and not Oasis? Oh yeah. That's I, I look. Cold, I was, I've cold, been wrong I, every time. I'm not 100. percent I, I think, but maybe not. I don't know. But also, in listen, I was against you on the Coldplay thing, but it makes more sense now. Coldplay's current. They have new music. Yeah. They're you know uh, irrelevant. They're relevant right now. Whatever. I think there's a lot of people that you say Oasis, and they go, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, how, I couldn't long, name how, one song. Right, because how long they've been gone away? So younger people don't know that necessarily. Right. Where Where's a lot Coldplay of people play stretches Coldplay across and TikTok and yeah. all the different stuff. Carmen, you know, you know Oasis. If you play a song, I'm playing it right now. Oh yeah, okay, I know this song. Uh, They're not selling out state. Yeah. I'm going. I gotta tell I'm you, I'm flying Ireland. But that kind of proves my point. You played one song that Carmen was like, yes, yeah. and the other one was like, maybe, and then three other ones that she was like, no, never heard of. It. Carmen, right. how old were you in 1994? 94, I was three. Yeah, yeah, but that's why. I mean, you're Again, talking about yeah, that, but yeah, but Coldplay has had current stuff, you know, that entire time they had an album that was a couple years old. Yeah, but the whole love. point of the reason why they don't have music is because they broke up. Nobody why people want to see a band that they love get back right. together. But they don't pick up new fans along the way right. because they've been gone for yeah, so long. That's and they're not on TikTok yeah, yeah. and they don't have like the younger audience right. isn't going. I disagree. We're, and I will get my tickets to see Coldplay at the stadium when we, they come. I mean, I, uh, I'll get them very easy, like a week after they come out. I wonder <laughs> why <wall>, Carmen. <laughs> the champagne. What? What? Keep in your soul. Mm. Let me know how the show goes at the Orpheum. Yeah. <laughs> right? We'll be know. there front center. Uh, There's a lot of songs that you don't know that Oasis sang. We bring the no. Uh, this, is, this is their new one. Yeah. Your favorite father and son. We bring the Everybody thought they were brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father and son. Now no. they're filling stadiums. They're pushing weight. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> anyway, you're right. Oh, uh oh, no. down the wrong pipe. Oh. Hot tea. Hot tea. Uh, will this bring you back, or will this bring John Brennan to the show? Okay. Matthew Fox has joined the <laughs> cast of the Yellowstone spinoff. Uh, the Madison. So there's another spinoff. What is this? Uh, is it, what year is it? What what uh, the decade? Madison, the well, just just end it, you guys. It's been too. Uh, 1923. No. By the way, have you seen uh, uh, Matthew Fox lately? He's he turned into an old man. Oh, I didn't know. He got gray hair now. Oh, hold on. Mm. <laughs> Look at oh this. wow. Let me see. What do you want? Uh, oh my God! Right? Right? Oh yeah, he's actually an old man now. Uh, he used to be so hot, so uh, handsome. Yeah, I was an old man. Well, how come George Clooney doesn't age? He's I not know that old because George Clooney's had gray hair since he was thirteen. And he drinks baby's yeah. blood. Is that, yeah. yeah, he's he's Carmen. He's not that old, but when we saw him on Party of Five, he was so young yeah. and handsome. Yeah, lost. <laughs> and then you don't really see him much. Yeah, you lost and stuff, and you don't see him as much. So now he's skinny too. He's got skinny face. He's not playing young roles now. He used to be like, you know, get the younger roles. Yeah. My wife just sent me a picture of Walker Hayes, a country singer. Do you know who that is? Uh, no. I've heard that name. Yes. It says Walker Hayes says his new single is an apology to his six kids. And I'm like, why is she sending these to me? And she goes, doesn't this guy look like Tom Segura on Ozempic? <laughs> 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 exactly. It's exactly. It looked like you put a straw in his back and yeah. just sucked all the juice out. Tom Segura is on Ozempic. I know, yeah. but more, more Ozempic. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Uh, there's, oh. Go ahead, Carmen. What do you got? Oh no, I was gonna say there's a guy that goes to the gym. I go to occasionally. Oh, do you go to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> I do, not with Mike though. Wow. Uh, but he kind of looks like a short Tom Segura. I'm still shocked at how tall Tom Segura is. Carmen goes to the gym. Booty, B O T T Y. Yes. <laughs> I have some Listen, new music. I can just tell guys. you, Titus O'Neil gets new a new uh, title, King of Tampa. Dumbest guy in town. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You can't you can spell tell booty. That. I'm you not going to tell him yeah, that. I don't him. agree. With I'll write that him a letter. And tell him. <laughs> I'm going to send face. him that. No, don't send him that. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't okay. Him that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want him to also be bloodiest knuckles in Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, he may have hit his head under the ring. Yeah, I know. See, I knew it was going to have a long term effect. Right. You're making jokes. I have some new music for you guys. It's not new music, it's old music, but this person recorded a version of it. Listen, if this is more garbage like the Motley Crue Beastie Boys, <laughs> hey, come on, six, come on, five, come on, shut up, you idiot. But it's interesting. Uh, in fact, I can tell you before we play the song, this person co wrote this song for another band back before this person was popular. And then this person became popular and he was like, you know what? I'm going to record that song too. Okay. So, so, so kind of like uh Bruce Springsteen, right. Doing blinded by the light. Yes. And then said, you know what? I'm going to make that. I'm going to do that. My song. Very similar. Okay. Very All similar. Right. All right. Uh, so tell me whenever, you know, either artist wh- who recorded the song originally or who wrote the song and is doing it now. Is this Taze on day? No, it is oh, not Taze on okay. day, but it's just a short clip. So take a listen. Here we go. New music. Mike Helter show. That's not, not, is that it? Yeah. Is that what I sent you? Yes. All right. Go ahead. I can forward a little bit. Cause I think it has a long intro. Uh, Shut up. Ryan Adams. I got my first real six string. So he just went back and recorded it? Yeah, he was like, oh, I wrote this with them. I'm going to record it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, wow, I no, I did not know that. Co wrote War Machine from 1982, Creatures of the Night that Kiss did. Yeah. I saw the coolest Brian Adams video the other day. What was that? You, you know that song, Star Todd, it just goes, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then this guy jumped on stage. Grabbed the first, grabbed the microphone, and was like, I got my first real six string. And then they shuffled him off the stage, and Brian Adams just went, Bond at the fact, just went right into the song. Uh, and uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, I think you've seen it before, probably, where they took the uh, uh, John uh, Mellencamp song and they just clipped it, it was sucking on a chili dog yeah. outside the <laughs> yeah. freeze. Uh, but a band did it live. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so they just got sucking on a chili dog outside taste freeze. Sucking on chili dog outside taste freeze. And like just did the whole song with those lyrics. It was hilarious. Yeah. 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 Just kept on doing it over and over again. Uh, real quick, Mo just sent me an article. Uh, Oasis, <laughs> they've got four nights booked at Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Uh, See? Well, well, Thank hey, you, Mo. Yeah. But Wembley over. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wembley makes sense. I'm a big That's in Europe. 400,000 people. Yeah, it's a lot. No, I get it. Yeah. Listen, I get that they're very popular. I'm wondering in America. I think so. Yeah. You, I don't think they're going to have any. Uh, there's some young. Without a doubt. Says they're Sell playing four dates at Manchester's Heaton Park, four nights at Wembley Stadium, and they're playing two nights at Edinburgh's Murrayfield Stadium. Also, right, they're an uh, English rock band. And also, also, don't forget that everybody's trying to get in for the first dates. Because they, you yeah. know it's not going to last. Right, right. So I, mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wembley's ninety thousand people. I would yeah. go. I would fly. You know, we're talking about an eight-hour trip from from here to London. I'm in. I would love to go. Would you really? I'm in. One hundred. Oh, you're, yeah. you're my overseas <laughs> travel go, buddy. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I would do that. Let's For go. Oasis. Joe, yeah. Joe's out. Right. Carmen, okay. we're running it seeing back. Oasis yeah. in in, in England Stadium? in a reunion concert is the equivalent of seeing the Beatles, Pearl Jam in Seattle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, knew, I knew that wasn't going to have the luster. It's like, seeing, it's like seeing Drake in Toronto. Well, okay, I got you. Yeah, that makes it better. I'm gonna go. I'll go with you guys. I'm no, just, no, no, you're not no, 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 no. It's like, it's like no. seeing Moose in Newport Richmond. <laughs> 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 there he is! <laughs> yeah, wow! The old Liverpool screw job. It's like yeah. seeing Medicine Man in Palm Harbor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. Let's go, dude, dude. I would do that. I'd love to go. Mo will go with us. Yeah, oh, of course. man. That's Mo a... was the one that said said I was crazy. We were crazy for even doubting that. Oh look! But I again, see. over there. But how are they going to sell over here? They, well, if, if they, they, they do, really big, though, if yeah. they do ten. If they do two nights in LA, two nights in New York, uh, one in Miami, one yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, they'll be fine. Okay, if they if they came to Tampa, would they be at Raymond James? Yes. Yeah, probably. Yes. Okay. Mo made a good point that Gen X right now is goes they're suckers for nostalgia. For nostalgia. Yeah. Everything's a nostalgia act right now. Also, you have to understand Movies, Wonderwall. Music. Is timeless. Wonderwall is one of those songs that all the kids know, and they're one right. of, they're one of the reunions that everybody's been talking about for years and years and years. The bands are always when they do Plus the list the of fighting. Fans, 
they would never get back together. Oasis yeah. is always like top three. Uh, there is no better meme on the internet than the one with Hulk Hogan holding an acoustic guitar, and it says, "Anyway, brother, here's Wonderwall." <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, finally, in. finally in news, uh, Google posted the top question asked about each zodiac sign. Oh, so let's go through the zodiac signs. Right. Uh, we'll start with. Why don't, the, why don't we take a break and we'll come back and do this? So we, we don't have to rush that? it. Sure, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's it's uh, seven fifty six. I don't know anything about zodiac signs. I know what mine is. I know what I'm supposed to be, and I don't know what I. I know that I'm not. So. so this is Google. The top questions that people ask Google about, you know, a Cancer or Libra or whatever. Okay. All right. We'll get into that when we come back. Seven two seven five seven nine one zero two five or eight hundred seven seven one one zero two five. The phone numbers. It's the Mike Calta show. Also, don't forget three minutes until the bone. Three bonus. minutes till the bone bonus. Pay attention. It's going to happen during the commercial break. We'll do it, and then you'll have a uh, half hour to go to the bone app and put in the keyword and you can win one thousand dollars that's happening in less than three minutes stand by it's a mike cal the show this is 1025 the bone i got another text from mo it said i heard my invite best believe you get in that aisle seat tell mike to book my ticket <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> book your own ticket stupid i'm and sonia that's what he said i would i would be like hey mo can you get us like a bump up to first class yeah. or something yeah right you Come have on. any pull can we bring four ounces of liquid? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, get, get us something in there. He says, best believe you get in that aisle seat. Mm. Yeah, no. Who is he is or you are? Uh, to me, as yeah. So you're getting Oh, I like the aisle seat. Yeah, yeah, I, I prefer yeah, the aisle seat. Nice. I prefer the aisle seat too until they whale me with the cart three <laughs> or four times. It's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. Like I, my elbow's just <laughs> barely over. You don't have to hit it that hard. Yeah. Uh, so you know through. they're doing it on purpose. Too. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> it's one of the things that we don't have on this show that I feel like we should have established a long time ago. Where we sit on the plane? Somebody to uh, bump yeah. us up to first class. Oh yeah. Like we like we don't have anybody in the airlines. I used to have that back in the day, um, when Continental was around. Mm. Uh, but I have not. Like, I have this flight to Vegas that I'm on, that I could use Ooh. some. To to gen pop John. or what's going on? I'm in Gen Pop. Oh, what? Me and uh, oh. me and Donkey Kong are sitting next to each oh, other. Right. Wow. Yeah. Is the uh, well? No, you can say it. Okay. Is the flight comped, or uh, is it flights you paid for? Well, it's it's part of my uh, part of the trip, you right. know what I mean. So I look to upgrade it, and but they, it says that. Um, well, so, that's what I'm saying. So it's like a uh, you have no choice here. We're doing this, but you could upgrade if you wanted to. So I'm trying to upgrade it, and it's so it's so uh, full coming back that there's no room. You know, somebody could probably move something around. Yeah, American Airlines. Just saying. It's one of those things we should be trading tickets on the side for for bump ups. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, get, I mean, yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. One of the good, one of the good, uh, you want to go see uh, yeah. Oasis at the stadium? I yeah. got you. Yeah. We should start giving away tickets to no. Oasis because yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? True. Like, oh, yeah. Give right. tickets to like the, like you said, the eighth show. <laughs> front, front row. Yeah. <laughs> this is similar to having Oasis play back together is similar to get them to the Greek. Like whether or not it's going right. to happen. Well, it's, remember we talked about Van Halen when we were all super excited whenever Dave got back in the band and they were coming and we we're like, we all, we got tickets. Like, you know, obviously we get tickets for a lot of shows yeah. thanks to Mike Olivero and, you know, a bunch of different uh, things. But uh, that was one where I'm like, I'm buying these tickets. I don't care how much they cost. Yeah. Getting in there and getting in the first 10 rows to see Van Halen with David Lee Roth. Yeah. That is a dream come true. God, I hope they make it here. <laughs> how, how deep into the tour was the Tampa taste? Uh, it was far it was enough where we, we were worried, worried about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it was fairly early, but yeah, I think it was maybe, I, I don't even know. Was it 10 shows or yeah, something? Well, it was probably, it was somewhere in the beginning, but yeah. still enough for us to be nervous Definitely about Definitely the danger it, so. zone. God, that was great though. Uh, you know, Dave doing his weird shuffle and little tap shoe, soft shoe thing, whatever. He's not Dave that he used to be. I saw an interesting thing with, with him the other day it was an interview that he did and he said the van halen brothers were born in europe and the sense of humor thing this yeah, yeah they yeah. had no sense of humor right and he's like i was born in a uh spanish he goes i'm bilingual i was born in a spanish-speaking neighborhood where everybody was dancing and salsa and, blah, blah. and he goes we were just two different people yeah and he's like i, I saw the fun and humor and everything and they were by black and white by the book but it's funny because listen uh, you know obviously eddie van halen unbelievable changed guitar forever changed how songs are written all that stuff 
Dave had so much to do with the songs and the way that they were put together sure. that he doesn't get credit for. But if you listen to Dave's stuff, his solo stuff, you go, oh, okay. Right. That's where all the Dave stuff comes in. Because, yeah, they're a rock band. They were doing you know Black Sabbath covers and doing stuff like that. Dave came in with the dance the night away and doing all these different things and the the, the style that to them yeah. for sure yeah the whole vaudeville kind of thing and yeah yeah so i, I it's it's weird to think that I, like a lot of time you're like dave's such a dick but right. if you think about it you're like oh they were probably the dicks well it, yeah and obviously with the brothers you know they're taking their side you know each other so you got two against one there, like the diaz then, brothers. yeah and then michael anthony's over there like hey, i just want to play bass. Yeah, yeah when you're at when you're at that show did you think this is the last time i'll ever have a chance to see eddie van halen in person live ever again no, no we saw him after that oh you did yeah 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 we, oh we, yeah that's right over uh, with at the, wolfie yeah at the, oh, uh, yeah well that was that's with wolfie cool. that was with wolfie that tour oh, and emily but then we saw him over at uh the amphitheater yeah you're right it yeah. was with wolfie what was it yes positive because that was a different kind of truth that was the tour and it was with wolfie on the album and wolfie came out and that was a big deal that that was the big deal that we everybody was talking yeah, I just about don't remember it man. was a reunion reunion but not full-on reunion because right. michael anthony wasn't with right, him. Right. interesting but wolfie did an amazing job he's great you know everything yeah bass player guitarist singer drummer van halen in the rock and roll Hall of fame yeah uh, i don't right we, it was probably before they did the big ceremonies so we never got to see uh like who 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 they perform with if they perform with dave sammy I don't yeah, know whether I don't remember. Was, uh, Van Halen, though, probably cool enough to do, be like, hey, we'll do whatever we have to do for the Rock and Roll of Fame for the fans. I'm like, Kiss. Kiss just didn't care enough. I uh, remember Guns N' Roses. Uh, inductee Eddie Van Halen, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he did not attend. Who Eddie did? Van Eddie? Halen was in rehab at the time. Oh, uh, well, yeah. that's, that's different. While Alex and David Lee Roth had decided not to turn up. Yeah, so, yeah, so I guess none of them, even, I don't even know whether Michael Anthony <laughs> went or not. Uh, 2007. Yeah. If there was a uh, a ninety three three FLZ reunion, I would not not go because other douchebags were going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would not not be. I, I would be like, oh, cool, whatever. And I I would go for to see other people that I hadn't seen in a long time, and be it would be cool to do that. You know, and I was a very 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 small part of that, but to be able to be there with the BJ and MJ and right. uh, all you know, Jason Dixon and all those guys I started out with. I would love to go that. I would not let other douchebags in the situation stop me from going. Right? Wouldn't you think that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It depends on how. Uh, it depends on who. Like how much you hate certain people. I, or, I think it's very clear uh, yeah. how much I hate certain <laughs> people, but I wouldn't let that stop me. Yeah. And that guy would be too scared to show up if I was there. So <laughs> it wouldn't even matter. Hell yeah. Yeah. I. I the same thing with uh. With 98 Rock, like if 98 Rock ever did an anniversary thing and they had a big show, which uh, brought back like the old Austin Keys and those sort of guys and Seabass and all that, I would love to go there and, and be a part of that and see that. Is Ted Kamikaze still around? Ted Kamikaze is around, yeah. Yeah. Ted uh, is an odd bird. The first time I saw Medicine Man, I thought that was Ted Kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to tell everybody that was his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know who has a bunch of insight into Van Halen stuff is Chris from Dean because I think he was he was out touring with them. Like, oh really? Yeah, yeah. He worked with them and yeah. Because I whenever I was talking to him, we were talking about Van Halen, and he said it's so funny because Alex was the business guy. He yeah. said Alex was all business and stuff, which is funny because you think Alex, you think you're just big dumb, dumb drummer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, he knew those guys really well. Yeah, I'll tell you that uh, meeting Eddie and Alex Van Halen sitting in a small room with them for a minute was I never got to meet him was one of the most uh, and eddie was the nicest guy and and he has that weird thing when he talks like that uh, underbite kind of thing like, yeah he's think. got that kind yeah, of yeah. Yeah. yeah and to hear it in person and then he picked up we were getting a guitar sign for the children's home auction and he picked it up it was the the wolfgang model you know and he picks it up and he turned to go ah, that's, that's playing and i go i am sitting in a room with mike olivero eddie van halen and Alex Van Halen and Eddie Van Halen is playing alone right. to us right now. I mean, that's just, that's price. He seems like one of those guys that if there's a guitar in the room, he cannot not, not touch not it yeah. and play it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I yeah, and it. he was, uh, it's interesting you said that because he played the guitar and then he picked it up and he looked at it and he was checking the balance of it and the whole deal because it was his model guitar. Sure, yeah. So, yeah, that was very weird. 
And then Alex was changing his socks. So I've seen Alex Van Halen's bare feet. <laughs> well, yeah. And then I'll never forget they did the sound check. And uh, Olivero and I were the only ones in there. And Eddie's wailing on the guitar. <laughs> And then we was done, he goes, that sound good? That, like, we were <laughs> like, yeah, even Helen, that sounds really, it's really right, good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Turn the mids up a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's so funny because that, that's the picture over there right there. Yeah. I have of me, Eddie, and Mike, right? Right. And I'm wearing a collared shirt because the night before I went out to dinner and ended up going out afterwards and went straight to work the next day oh, yeah. in those clothes. Uh, to do mornings, and then after I get off the air, and Oliver goes, "You want to go to Orlando and meet Eddie Van Halen?" And I went, uh, "Okay, but I got to sleep on the way there. I haven't yeah. been to bed yet." So yeah, that was one of the coolest things ever. And look how tiny he is. Yeah, I could have kidnapped him and locked him in the basement, fed him what? in the prison. Yeah, these are right. things I think about, Carmen. <laughs> Kidnapping you, people. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, Calvin. Sorry, we got long winded. Uh, okay, so uh, everybody, you know, you're born different months, whatever. You have your uh, your astrology sign, your uh, zodiac sign thing, whatever. But uh, this has Google posted the top questions asked about each zodiac sign. So if we want to go through them, Carmen, we'll start with you. Uh, you are what? What is your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. You're an Aries. All right. So for Aries. It says, why do Aries like to fight? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. Oh, really? Very do belligerent. An, do you have an answer for us, That Carla? sounds about right. Very yeah, belligerent. because everyone else is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes, sense. Makes more sense. Uh, yeah. All right. Joe, you are in December. What is yours? Uh, yours is I am Capricorn. 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 It says, why do Capricorns pull away? Oh, why are you pulling uh, away, yeah, you Joe? Shut down. I don't shut down. You do Buffalo. shut down. Joe. I do not shut down. Joe. Yes. You won't talk about pantses. I would have, what, what do you want to talk about the pants? You muffle your door. Well, I mean, I don't, I mean, that's just being, that's, I'm, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the right way. Uh, my Kelta September is, what are you? I am a Virgo. Virgo. Uh, this says for Virgo. Why are they so sexy? Oh. <laughs> why do Virgo. Act like they don't care. Oh, I don't. Uh, yeah. we don't care. <laughs> not, not acting. Not acting. Uh, not acting at all. Just don't care. Just, just don't care. care. Uh, Geo. I think, February. I think Aquarius. You think? You think? You think? I think. You don't you don't know? know? I don't follow the zodiac sign. Oh, everybody I, knows. You don't follow, but everybody knows. That's why I, say I think it's Aquarius. Well, what, when's your birthday? Age February 18. February 18. Aquarius. Is it right at the cutoff? Aquarius or Pisces, February 18th. Pisces. Yeah, yeah, that's what... yeah, it's, Pisces. Aquarius. it's Aquarius. You're a Pisces. Okay. No, it says Zodiac oh. sign people born between January 20th oh. and February 18th yeah. is Aquarius. Yeah. So I knew it was right on the line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So for Aquarius, it says, why do Aquarius run away from love? Oh, oh. you've been uh, right to love. Yeah, that's true. That's, that that's opposite. But the, it, the Pisces one. I was yeah, going to say, technically, because you're right on the border, you could be a Pisces. What is a Pisces? Uh, like? Why do Pisces ignore you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you run away from love. I so think he runs away from I also too. don't think he ignores anybody. I think he likes to get in and Mix noodle a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll yeah. noodle it. Okay. <laughs> See, it's because he didn't know his sign. That's why he doesn't fit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Spanish July cancer. is cancer. Oh, so oh, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, Spanish? Why do cancers cheat? Oh, oh, man. Man. oh, you know everything. You know, you know. You know. Oh, everything. Yeah, I don't know. You're a bad person. <laughs> wow. What are you going? What was that going? Uh, I, yeah, bad person. <laughs> I am a Scorpio, and this says, "Why do Scorpios hold grudges?" Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, because I will never forget <laughs> that you were a jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now you pay. <laughs> I just don't care. I will never jerk. forget that you were a jerk and made me show up to a place that you were supposed to be at. And I, they didn't know that I was coming. And then the doctor talked weird to me. Yeah. And I said, you're an idiot. And then you tried to shake my hand and I didn't shake your hand in front of everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a real story. Oh. Uh, I felt so good about that. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think he works here anymore. I don't think that guy works here anymore. There's really? a guy. Yeah, there was so a guy. Yeah, 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 who work here, <laughs> and he was an idiot to me, uh, and never apologized, and I didn't even know who he was, and then they pointed out, so I was like, all right, I'm never talking to that guy, and then he came up to me at uh, one of the Christmas party thing, and went to shake my hand, and I just stood there and stared at him, <laughs> and he put his hand down and walked away, and my wife goes, Oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> I go, not to me. Yeah. Why? Oh, I wish I would have saw that. 
Oh, it was great. It was great. He was like, hey, man, and went to shake my hand. And I just went like this. Ooh, did not stare at him. Did, him. Stared him. Awesome. did not, but like Kobe, when the guy pretended like he was going to throw the ball at him, yeah. just stared at him. And then he just went, looked down and walked away. Uh-huh. Oh. It was great. <laughs> so awkward. The fact that he never apologized, that's the issue. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. What his reasoning was, so he was supposed to be at a uh, thing where we were talking to a cli- possible client and stuff, and I told our sales manager, I go, totally fine. Just make sure somebody's there because I don't know what's going on. I'm going to show up and you know talk and meet the people and stuff, but just make sure somebody, the salesperson's there. That's not guaranteed. Of course, he doesn't show up, and his excuse was he didn't know how to get a hold of me. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. email, phone call, this that. We have a directory. You could talk to John Brennan. You could text this person. Yeah. That you could the salesperson, the, the sales manager had my number. We talked all the time. Uh, like you could ask a million people and got my number and said, "Hey, I'm not going to be able to make it. Do you still want to go?" Oh, yeah, rough. Then, yeah. And then you get there, and they didn't even they weren't no no idea. Didn't expect you. Didn't no know who idea. You were. Didn't know what was going yeah. on. What? And then who proceeded to talk to me, and I was just like, I'm out of here. I can't do this. So why <laughs> of all people of all people? <laughs> what? That's, what? that's what that's what Jason and John. So uh, Brian, our uh, uh, sales guy, the the manager guy, he was on the phone with me, and John goes, it wasn't funny. But because it was you, it was, <laughs> because we could hear you, and we were watching Brian, and Brian's like, because Brian was mad that the guy didn't show up and stuff, uh, and him and Jason were like, oh my uh, god, uh, who are you? What are you here yeah, for? Why? Uh, Handshake was, denied. Yeah. It was wild. So why does Scorpio hold grudges? <laughs> That's, That's why. why. That's why. That's why. Um, yeah, I, I, hard to say that I wouldn't care about that situation. Yeah, no, I, that like was I the worst. Care. Mm. Mm. Uh, you want to do anybody else? Your wife's. My uh, wife is uh, born in eleven seventeen, so I don't know what that she's would be. Uh, Scorpio also. Oh, okay. What yeah. is a Gemini? Hold grudges. She does not hold grudges. My wife. No. No. Uh, Gemini. Gemini. Why did Gemini ghost? Why did they just split? Mm. Sounds that was like Chad. Question. Is that what Chad? Yeah. Yeah, that's Chad. My wife does not hold grudges. In fact, she is the complete opposite. Mm. And <laughs> there's one. I... There's one. Who? Yeah, and I was gonna say based on your stories, that's not true. She, oh, against me, she does. Okay, no. yeah, well, but not against it. Like we have had, we've had uh, fights with people where, like, a month later, I'll be like, no, and she'll go, oh, you can't just let me see. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> that's yeah. that's one that's never let that one. She'll never let that one. That one gets a pass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I agree. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Joe totally has you on bones. <laughs> no, I made sure. Yeah. I, I'll do it over here. No, nope. I don't them. care. That mm. would be interesting, but whatever. Yeah. Well, there you go. Mm. No Thank grudges. You. No grudges. Spanish. Yo. <laughs> I can't give you a hard time for farting. Oh <laughs> man, uh, I hear you too. Yeah. yeah. I'm just filled with air today. I know. Don't you wish you were here, Carmen? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want some of my payday? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, thank you. I, I, I have a uh, cone of candles around me, though, Ooh, so I'm good there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Gio is forced to suffer. Mm-hmm. Carmen, oh, we're if just... I was next to you, you were far, and I'd have to right turn Clyde. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's only one. It's only been one so far. Yeah. He, but it was weird. It was, it was it's, bad. It's luck out. Yeah. Uh, just been gone. Oh, like, yeah. Carmen, during the break, I just hear... <laughs> <laughs> I'm inverting bullfrog the whole yeah. the whole time, man. Wow. I don't know what that is. And then he tells Jody I'm a protein shake. Yeah. I didn't tell Jody. No. Jody, I tell I, you. No, nope, I offered my Thank you. Mm-hmm. Joe, I, I don't like that they're trying to pit us against each other. That's, uh, we they, had a nice they, little system working here, and then all of a sudden it was like the labor union came in yeah. and said, Hey, are you properly being compensated for this overtime and and mm. caused all sorts of problems? They will not drive a wedge between our arrangement, Mike. I feel like they work. have already. No, nope. nope. yeah, so there is an arrangement. Definitely nope. a wedge. You and an arrangement. Your job. Just so you know, you're not going to a Oasis. So <laughs> 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 yeah. Definitely going before Mogos. I was just saying, I take Joe before Mo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thank you. Right. Mo's, you're going to get there and uh, they're going to find something in your suitcase and Mo's going to be like, I don't know, I guess uh, I'll take it. <laughs> See you later. Take it out. Yeah, no, no. All right, we got to take a break. 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. What is that guy, Brian, on line one holding for? He wants the tickets that you aren't going to give Medicine Man for this weekend, but he wants them. Um, he hmm. wants tickets. To what? Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, to I'm assuming our the Pastors of yeah. Rock. I'll deal with him when we come back. Mm. Thank you. It's a Mike Cal the show. This is 1025 The Bone. Um, let me tell you this stuff on hold. 
Uh, this is Brian. Brian, you've been holding now for what? Oh, I don't know. Just a little bit. Feels like a little bit. No, no what, I know. What, what were you item? holding for? <laughs> oh, because uh, I want to uh, see if I can get Medicine Man tickets because he he's not going to be using them. Which t- t- tickets to what? To your your concert. Whoever, it's a pit, pit bull toddler and whoever's opening for you guys. Why do you think that uh, that Medicine Man won't use his tickets? I thought you wouldn't give them tickets. Medicine Man? Yeah, I will not give up my tickets. <laughs> you, If I gave you tickets, Medicine Man, to come see us play at Ruth Eggert Hall, are you going to go or are you going to give up your tickets? I will definitely go to see you guys. Yeah, but Brian also wants to go. Well, give him an extra pair of tickets. You have them, not mine. I do. You know how many we have? I have no idea you have. Yeah. Why are you so crabby today? Uh, me? I just woke up. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? Roll out of bed and just call us the minute you wake up? No, no. I was watching TV last night, and I was watching uh, Miss Shady Kills. <laughs> You're watching what? Miss Shady Kills with Danny Trio. Shady. Machete uh, kills. The, oh, machete, machete kills. I thought you were saying Shady yeah, Hill. I thought you said Shane Gillis at first. Yeah. All right. Medicine no, no. Man. Dan Trio, you know, that bad ass uh, action guy that's yeah. like in his 70s. You, you know, I never realized was that short. Very yeah, short. you said tiny yeah, little guy. Yeah. Tiny little guy. All right. Well, Medicine Man, uh, I'm going to give the tickets yeah, to Brian. I would definitely see you Saturday. I'm going to give the tickets to Brian. My tickets? Yeah. My tickets. Mm-hmm. I didn't know oh. that you had tickets, Brian. I'm gonna put you. I didn't have any. I didn't get them yet. So I was just like, well, yeah, I'm you, giving you, them to you Brian. Got, you got tickets. If you got extra ones, give them to me too. You know? No, no, I only have <laughs> tickets for Brian. Oh, yeah. so, so the medicine man say, "Hey, Brian." Hey, Brian. Enjoy my tickets. Enjoy my tickets. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was easy. He's very accommodating yeah. in the morning. Okay. I like him much better early in the morning. Uh, Mike Calta show. Good morning, Mike Calta. Why would you give Medicine Man anything? Remember, he said that fat ass. Of, I think that uh, Corey uh, uh, told you about. He called you a fat ass. Yeah, I know. I, I don't. I was just nothing. about getting over it, sir. And then you just made uh, me have flashbacks, and you made me mad again. Now I'm mad at you. Uh, hey, oh, uh, come on. It's almost like I can hear it in my head. Fat ass. Nah, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. All right. right. I get it. Um, Question. Where is Love Tiger? At the bottom of that pool. I mean, we're talking, it's been like a month since I've heard anything from him. He was hitting me up for a while and then just kind of fell off. Fell off, right? Yeah. (sighs) Like he was giving me updates pretty much. But wasn't it because, like we said, like we could no longer help him because he basically made his choice? What choice? Yeah, I don't to remember. go back. Well, well, to go back home. Remember, because he was in the hospital, and oh, well, we were trying I, to help him. Yeah, they like, told me I can't. Uh, I I can only do like the. We can only do so much because he had to. He had to help himself. They said right. he was too. But I'm not mad at him or anything. No, no, no. I don't think you're mad at him. But I think like after that, because you did all that you could do, and you couldn't provide any more help, he was just like, okay, I you're got. You saying I'm, he ditched me? Basically. Like he he's a user, is what you're saying. He doesn't oh. need you anymore. You yeah. gave him what yeah. you know. You gave him everything you. you got, and now he's gone. You so. gave him the gift of running water, That's and that was it. He mm-hmm. takes and takes and takes, and then whenever you have no more to uh, give, he just says, "All right, see you later." Like and then he's just tree. a tiger out in the jungle. <laughs> 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 Plus the the other tigers were getting involved, right? And they were kind of yeah, trying to show. Only one tiger. Yeah. The only tiger. How do I call him? Get off the phone. <laughs> We're trying to clean the mold. Mm. I don't know. There's a body in the bottom of the pool. Yeah. Look at the poop in the bag. Well, I've been dead for five years. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, when I found out that that guy had a car, that made me the most mad. I think. That's wild. Uh, mm. Well, I love mean, the fact that he can drive or that he has a car. Um, oh. <laughs> the fact that he had a car and that they that he didn't have a job. You know, or take saying? Love Tiger to the take, hospital. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had to have the pool guy take him to the yeah. hospital. Do you think that car even has a tag on it or is registered or insurance right. or anything? No, probably not, but whatever. I'm trying I, to figure out how to call. I got the video calling thing up, but it's found not. out about the oh. car. Wait. It's like on old music. I mean, what could he be doing? 
Staring at the brown pool? Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if one of the other tigers answered? Hello? <laughs> what do you want? Napoleon? <laughs> <laughs> Tina, eat some ham. <laughs> Gosh. Dude, every once in a while. We'll, oh, we were at uh, softball. And uh, this woman, I, I mean, there's 100 people at softball. They're all delightful. Yeah. One old lady on her cell phone, loud as can be. What? <laughs> I'm at the softball game. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I'll call you later. And then cursing out a great, you stupid son of a bitch, get over here. Like just one person. <laughs> I'm looking at her. And my wife leans in and goes, Teeny, your lord ass. <laughs> 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 She's like, doesn't she look like Napoleon's grandmother? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, she does. Had sure. the game started yet or is it just no. still practice? It was, it wasn't even, it was the worst experience. Ever. Oh, is she playing? No, it she didn't even start yet. I, yeah. No, but I'm saying, is she is she gonna go through with it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, she yeah. tried out. But oh, she could have been like, yeah. I'm I, I that. said something the other day, and they were like, well, "We have softball Wednesday." And I go, "We're still doing that." Yeah. Doing? And she goes, "What do you mean?" And I go, "I don't know. I figured after the first one, you wouldn't want to go back." Uh, so the other day where I run is a park area where there's no uh, hotels or anything yet until Mike gets there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there was a mother and daughter, and the daughter looked about your daughter's age. And they had a, uh, a softball thing set up, but it was like a T-ball. Yep. So uh, she was practicing her swing and stuff. And I'm going, I look over and she goes and she gets her leg up and goes to hit and whiff. And the ball just fell off. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was like, oh. But that woman on the phone, a lot of times they're the types that are when the games actually start, they're yelling with the um uh, umpire. Yeah. And, oh, that was a strike. Yeah. <laughs> they... They should have like a rule, like you're not allowed to yell at umpires, otherwise you get no, like you kicked out. Never. Yeah, uh, yeah. My family, my wife has never done that except for that one time she said to the ref, "Poorly done, poor, <laughs> poorly done." Right. I mean, there's a you know, you there's a little bit that you can get away with and just like bad call or something. But if you're interrupting the game from oh, happening, yeah, and then fighting and doing all that stuff, right? Yeah, then wild. you're you have to be escorted out. I would never be that guy. I would never be that guy that would do that to my kid. I was about, I was that guy one time, and I instantly regretted it. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. you embarrassed the kids. Yeah. yeah. I, got, right. I got carried away in one of the games. I go, you guys don't even want to be here today. Uh, <laughs> oh. Who is that? To, <laughs> to the, the kids? kids yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. told you whenever my son played soccer, whenever he was younger, and this guy was yelling, and guy's in like a suit, and he's yelling, he's all red face and stuff. Guaranteed never played soccer in his entire life. And he's like, oh, yelling at the ref. Yeah. And he goes, right? Am I right? And turned to me, and I go, no, <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah. Right after I did that, I looked at my wife. I go, I should not have said that. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm never that guy, and mm -hmm. I got caught up in the moment. Like, no. how is that? <laughs> games were never a problem, but like, I remember when we got to kind of like high school, um, you know, co competitive age, whatever. Our coaches made it so our parents weren't allowed to come to practice anymore. Yeah. yeah. Chloe yeah, well, even now, yeah. like my daughters, they practice. I don't. I'm not at the practice really. Right, but like other parents would like stay there and like just have to put in their two cents. Like, no, you I mean, can say whatever you want, but nothing. You are all lightweights compared to dad's moms. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. come on, I can't even imagine, yeah. dude. I watch that television show. I, oh, my daughter loves it, so I'm constantly watching it. That is the most brutal group of human beings ever. It's like a handful of Karens. Just being Karen, just letting them run wild. But also, you have to understand that it's a reality show. So the more Karen they are, the more time they're going to get on camera. So they're already Karens. Yeah, but, but then the they're things Karens. that they talk about and the things that they say and the way that they uh, treat their kids yeah. and talk about their kids, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like Galvin's, they're garbage to begin with. Right, and like Galvin said, the more they're Karens, the more... Right. Uh, airtime they get but also the more airtime their kids get and yeah, then their yeah. kids get deal they're making money off their kids because they're momagers now I don't understand <laughs> why my daughter doesn't yeah. get a solo and your daughter gets a solo and she's just been here and for five minutes and oh man it is, she can't even pirouette yeah <laughs> it's, it's, and then the mothers get mad at their own kids yeah oh yeah Mom, my knee hurts well it's the only way you're gonna get a solo is if you work three and i'm like the kid knee hurts let me get a break uh have you ever seen uh any of those uh documentaries on like the um kids that do the uh which the pageants and stuff oh yeah that's yeah, yeah. that is that wild. that i think is a lot along the lines of the i think that's along the lines of the woman with the chimps well yeah. chimp crazy lady. that's where uh, that's where honey boo boo started that's where yeah. her and mama yeah. june first like you know showed up was yeah. like, they were doing pageants right honey boo boo was pageants and jojo siwa was yeah. the dance moms yep yep yeah so uh you know 
<laughs> John Renee John Renee started yeah. out yeah. in the pageant too. So. Normal people in those things. No, I I think that uh, I think that anytime you if you if you're dedicating your life to oh, yeah. living through your kid or your animal, you got you got How many husbands have had to do gay stuff with somebody from the pageant because the mom said that's the only way she's going to get into there? <laughs> you have to. Oh, do you, you love your daughter? Go with Steve, <laughs> and he's going <laughs> to yep. show you a couple things. You really love your daughter, and right, then she's going to yeah. make the team. But you know, like the the very aggressive mother, right? Then has the husband that's just like, yes, Nancy, okay, you know, whatever. Yeah, he yeah. wants it too. Yeah, though. he's de- oh. definitely yeah. the beta. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, oh, look, you love your kids. You love your kids. Yeah. <laughs> I do try and influence the referees at uh, my daughter's soccer games. Oh, do you? Like when the ball goes out, I'll always say, "Oh yeah, red for sure." Yeah, <laughs> like every time. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's red or blue, whatever team. I'm like, yeah, that's our ball. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, I I I don't know why I, I realize that those other teams are other people's kids, so yeah, I never yeah, want yeah. to be that one. Although I loved watching, I loved when Juliano was aggressive and anything that she does and she's aggressive, like I want to see her hurt the other kids. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, know, I, know, I know, I know why. When Joey would hit kids in hockey, it was the best feeling ever. Yeah, in soccer, sometimes I'll see my daughter get pushed and then she'll push right back. I yeah. love that. Joey, <laughs> I love that. Joey was really aggressive in in hockey and he used to knock other people around. And then, and I'd watch him from the from the glass. And then he went to go hit some kid, and the kid moved, and he hit the glass. And I went, "Oh, that hurt! Yeah, didn't yeah. It? that hurt?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. My daughter's like, "Hey, I should. I always let her push me first, and then as soon yeah. as she pushes me, I'm like, okay, so that's how we're playing. That's where we're playing." And yeah. she's, I'm pushing back. She's like, "I don't set the tone." Yeah, she's like, "I don't start. I'll let them push me first and see where we're at." Do you think this is why you like Caitlin Clark so much? Because she, she's like watching another daughter play. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I think you miss so. it. You miss watching the kids play and yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like, my kids are still playing now, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you, at the end of the game, are you proud of your sweet Caitlin? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I was so excited last night that you, you uh, put on her social media. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> when, when she went down and she was like grabbing her oh. ankle. I was like, Oh my gosh, oh, no. this is, this is horrible. I mean, I go, and I literally, I go, you know, I looked at my wife and go, you know this is because I bet on her tonight. You know that, right? This is one of the oh. first time I'd ever bet on Caitlin Clark on a stat, and she rolls her ankle and falls down. What'd you bet? Assist or points or what? I did. But I was a parlay, and I had um, it was uh, four three pointers, which I was easy, and I hit that and ten assists, and she got nine. Oh. I think maybe she got eight. Yeah. But did did you see the her post interview? Which I can never tell if these are real. Now that you yeah, showed no. me the one, she was like, "Yeah, I know." I was uh, on the ankle roll. She was like, "I know." I was being a little bit dramatic. It wasn't that bad. But as a basketball player who's rolled my ankle hundreds of times, you just never know how serious it is. Oh, yeah. But she was like apologizing. She's like, "Yeah, I know. I was being dramatic." She went down, and I'm like, "Oh, she's done for the year. That's it." <laughs> like she was on the ground. What will you do? I was like, "Oh my gosh, and my that, season's over." That's the thing is, if they play for ten seconds. And they go out, they still played, so you, you yeah. lose that bet. Mm-hmm. If they don't come into the game at all, then you get your money back. Oh, right. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought if they yeah. didn't come in, that's on you. No, yeah, this yeah. Is like second quarter. I, surprisingly, I found that out because I was like, what? This? Whoever was not in, and I go, he's not playing, and then I got my money back. And if you have it in a parlay, they'll prorate it and give you your parlay and yeah. that part of it out. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, it's good, but if they get in for 10 seconds and snap, you know, they're like, well, but, too bad. Yeah, I think it w- if she'd gotten two more assists, I would have won like 70 bucks. Dude, four three-pointers had to have been a good take just on yeah. its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I, when the last time she'd played this team, she had struggled with three-pointers, yeah. and that's why the line was that at that point, I guess. But I'm like, four three-pointers is easy. Because wasn't that, didn't she set the record or tied the record for rookie for three-pointers in I one game? I yeah, yeah. you know all this. Yeah, yeah, I do. Let's I don't check. think, it's not knocking it. It's just so, f- we've come so far with the WNBA yeah. in one season. I'm starting a W podcast soon. <laughs> just, all right. just solely based around Love Angel it. Reese and Caitlin Clark. I'm uh, in if you're down. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm <laughs> Uh, but here's the here's the other thing is I 100% I think that I could go and play right now and be dominant <laughs> in the league. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, That's crazy. It's oh, nuts that I, I know more WNBA players now than I do NBA players. Oh, 100%. Uh, I might too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Big Dick came up with a great idea. 
you should do picks every week. Geo's locks to oh, lose. Oh man, locks to lose. I'd be the worst at it. Yeah, well, people know. Yeah, um, and, then, and then donate the money to Locks of Love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see that uh, more Red Lobsters are closing down. Oh come on, the yeah. one in New Perici. I thought Fla- Favorite Flav was saving us. Uh, yeah. yeah, what yeah. happened? The, the one in New Perici though was. I heard that one right there in Port Reed. The OG is that's go, is OG, go down, right? Yeah. That's I mean, been there forever. But nobody can come in and swoop in and just buy that place and just call it like uh, Ed's Lobster. No, Ed no, Lobsters. I think the company, the hedge fund companies, they shorted the Red Lobster so they could make money off of the uh, the closing down. They, so, were, okay. they were essentially game stopping it. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that building, that building oh, itself is oh, yeah. Oh, somebody oh, oh, g- like just take the R off and yeah. make it Ed's Lobster. That's a prime spot. It's right been there, there forever <laughs> on US 19. Edder Bay Biscuits, <laughs> <laughs> dude. He could do it. he could do it all. That that the Red Lobster and the Chili's are the two uh, are my two memories of Newport Ridge. Yeah, uh, Red Lobster almost got me the other day. I was looking through a little Grubhub and they had a deal where you get six free Cheddar Bay Biscuits oh. with the order, and I was like, oh. Oh, that might do it, but I didn't. They uh, sell the cheddar bay biscuit mix at uh, Sam's Club. They sell the frozen ones in the uh, uh, yeah I think in I've the store. You can just buy them and put them in the uh, air fryer or put them in the oven, and they're great. <sighs> I bet they're not the same though. They're mm. pretty it's like, good. It's they're like the White good. Castle burgers that are frozen. They're close, but not the same. Can I tell you what to do with the White Wait, Castle really burgers? Good. Where do they sell the cheddar bay biscuits? In uh, the store. Sam's. Uh, Sam's has the mix. Publi- yeah. Publi- what did you say? The mix at Sam's. At, and then the other place. At Publix, I've seen them frozen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Costco. Every I couldn't think of the name of the place. Uh, uh, really. What is it? Boom around the Costco. 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 We bring the boom so loud, the whole earth shakes. With double chunk chocolate cookies. And chicken bakes. But- Can't get that at Sam's Club. Uh, uh, but the uh, trick to the uh, White Castle burgers is uh, wrap them in a uh, damp paper towel. Yeah. Because yeah. it steams them like they steam them, the buns mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, that's where it's at. Having been to the Orlando White Castle a couple times, they're not the same. Yeah. Close, but yeah. not the same. What were you going to say, Carmen? I was going to say the one at Sam's, they actually have them like pre made at Sam's, but you can get the box mix at Publix. Yeah, That's what I'm I saw. Not, yeah. I can't I'm making my own biscuits. Like, I, don't, I would feel like I would just be a failure. Like, they'll never yeah. be Cheddar Bay biscuits. It, they're pretty good. All yeah. you got to do is add just a little bit of extra cheese. Listen, fatty <laughs> can't be eating Cheddar Bay biscuits. Mm. All right. Uh, if you make them, no, they're no. healthier. No, they're no, 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 yeah. Yeah. She's right. Guys, I mean, she's right. I'll try it. Once you make them, that's how we're. <laughs> yeah. When the Red Lobster closes, we should find the people that work there to, to make the biscuits for us. Yes. <sighs> All right. Oh, we and take. then we could call them Edder Bay Biscuits because that's a great idea. Edder Bay. That's a great idea. Edder Bay. You shush. Uh, Crab Fest is going on right now at um, Red Spanish Lobster. House? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is Crab Fest? Like, tell me if that's a... Nah, so it's like Shrimp Fest, basically. So they have, like, shrimp basically 20 different ways. So they have, like, crab, but now that it's Crab Fest, it's, like, crab pasta, crab stuffed mushrooms, crab... Oh. You know what I mean? They if just it wasn't all you can eat crab legs, I don't want to go. It's not all you can eat crab legs, but it is, like, $20 all you can eat crab stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's, I'm looking for old school. <laughs> all you can eat crab legs. We just go and shut them down. Oh, <laughs> shut them down. They're saying Florida's not going to have many red lobsters left. Uh, no, I don't think. It is. Uh, by the way, whenever you go out to uh, Vegas, I know that uh, a lot of good steak places out there. I just saw a place that has uh, aged steak, and they have over a million dollars worth of aged steak oh, wow. in this place. Yeah, it looked like a really cool Listen, restaurant. Nothing looks better than the Golden Steer. Uh, but the Golden Steer doesn't have a reservation for the next six months, yeah. so good luck getting any of those. What places. about uh, Boot Smackers? What's the place? <laughs> Bootlegger. Bootlegger. Yeah, yeah. Bootlegger. <laughs> Bootlegger. It's down the south end of the strip. It's fantastic. Everybody that I've ever sent there is like, yeah. oh my god, that place is great. It is really, really good. And they have but it's uh, Mexican food, is it? No, it's not Mexican food. <laughs> oh, it's Italian. It's Italian. Italian, yeah. it's, Italian. Oh. it's old school Italian. It's been there for a long time, and they have a father and daughter that do piano and singing stuff. They do a bunch of Sinatra and all kinds of stuff. Right That's why I saw the. Uh, right. I sat right next to the Righteous Brothers there. Oh, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a cool place. We were there for my brother's uh, bachelor party. I wasn't there. What'd you do? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Oh, your brother's? Yeah, Tim's bachelor party. No, I didn't or, go. No, no. U- uh, UFC. UFC. When we went to UFC, and remember Tim went, and we went uh, Brock Lesnar, Randy Couture. Yes, and we went. We went to bootleggers. I, maybe you didn't. Oh, maybe yeah. it was. Maybe it was my brother's passion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you went, but I did I not. not. Yeah, it's no. It's very good. It's very good. Old school Italian. 
really nice. All right. Yeah. I tried to go out there when I was I was in Vegas with Roughshod Todd. I tried to go out there and yeah. they, I got uh-huh. outvoted because it was too far off the strip. I'm like, the yeah, Galvin it's all says way, go here. Yeah, it's all the way down the south end of the strip, just past yeah. Mandalay Bay. But it is really good, and everybody that is uh, that I've sent out there loves it. It had all good reviews. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta line up some sort of some sort of eating for when we go out there. What are you gonna do? What do you mean? You can't eat anything. I thought. No, when I mean, are you I, going? I could eat like steak. I could have steaks and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, I just gotta stay away from the from the breads. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a steak place out in Vegas. Uh, I think I think I should be okay. <laughs> uh, all right, we gotta take a break. Dominic Ferriello is coming in. He mm-hmm. is asked to Dom. He takes your legal calls. Uh, let me, in fact, let me clear these phone lines now so that they can be open for uh, for Dom. Good, Mike. Show, what's my name? Hi. Mike the Show. Good morning. Hey, my name is Jerry. I'm calling to tell you something wonderful to do with the Cheddar Bay biscuit mix. Oh, oh go ahead. If you're yeah. ma- if you're making homemade chicken and dumplings, okay, <laughs> use the Cheddar Bay biscuit mix for oh. the actual dumplings. Oh. It is amazing. That okay. sounds, sounds fantastic. fantastic. And you just made me think of something, Carmen. Yes. What if you made Cheddar Bay biscuit corn dogs? Oh. I don't understand. Why is it the fattest show in Tampa? <laughs> I'm in. Thank I you. am in. Thank you, Punk. I appreciate the uh, call. Uh, I'll take a break. Take care of Brian on line one, please. Make sure he gets those tickets, yep. Medicine Man's tickets. Yeah. And then uh, the phone lines are open if you want to get through for Ask the Dom, 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. I'll take a quick break and come back and go right to the phone calls for Ask the Dom next on 1025 The Bone. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to ha- everybody. And a happy Tuesday to you. Right back at you. Tuesday. I was with you last Thursday. Kind of threw me off my schedule. I'm back on track this week. Got a, I got a question for you before I grab the phone calls, if that's okay. Absolutely. And I get confused. We may have talked about this before, but I've been watching a lot of those videos online about uh, First Amendment uh, guys and that are out there doing audits. You know, the audits, the First Amendment auditors. Uh, in Florida, if a an officer asks you for your ID, your driver's license, uh, do you have to give it to them? In this state, uh, are you required by law to identify yourself to a police officer if you are not being accused of a crime? Well, you know, technically, if you don't have a driver's license or an ID, you know, the answer is no. So technicality, not everybody has a driver's license. So the true answer is the answer is in theoretically no, because not everybody has one. Uh, if they ask you for your information, you you know give your name and, and stuff like that. That's that's suggested, but at a, you know, at a traffic stop, obviously that's required because if you're driving, you need to have a license to drive. Right. You know. So, but, but if, if I'm walks, out there, if I'm out there uh, videoing and somebody comes up to me and says, uh, you know, I need some ID and I'm not being accused of a crime. No, no, I'm I'm not aware from my experience that you're required. I don't I don't have a staff or a case law off the top of my head that says, no, you have to hand them. It's interesting. I, it seems like to me, I grew up, if a police officer says, I need your ID, I go, okay, here you go. I just give it to him. Yeah, well, I mean, again, you, you are, you're out in public. If you're videoing, you're, I mean, you're, all these things are, it's 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 public. It's it's open and, and private. Now, if you're subject to an investigation, now you've got a, you know, a different scenario. Right. Now we need information. Um, you know, but a lot of people say, well, what happens when they just run your tag and, you know, so, well, they can do that. You're not doing anything wrong. And if it comes up, the license is suspended or things like that. So a lot of things kind of come back to, well, people are interacting with law enforcement because of the car, the tag or a stop. But if they walk up to you and say, Hey, let me see, your, let me see your information. I said, well, let me see yours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't say that, but yeah, yeah I well, you. <laughs> I'm, you know, I mean, but that, that's the context right. now I'm of the opinion where my, my advice is a little bit more conservative than liberal in the sense that I don't, I rather listeners not get in trouble than get in trouble, hire me to get them out of trouble. I, I just, I think that's counterproductive. All right. All right. Well, that's, I was just curious about that. All right. I got phone calls for Dom. If you want to get through 727-579-1025. Lane, Lane, good morning. You're on with Ask the Dom. What do you got, Lane? Hello there. Like that. So a lot of things kind of Lower come back. Lower radio, so. Lane. It's down. Yes, sir. And the name is Wayne. Wayne. Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. You're on with Dom. All right. I got a, uh, um, back in, um, 
June, bought a new vessel, a boat, 28 foot. Um, it had a um, factory default where they pinched one of the wires in the hull, and um, it was shocking me. The dash was shocking me. Well, I kept saying it's shocking me, shocking me. The mechanics at the marina where I purchased it couldn't find it, and, you know, kind of, uh, is it shocking you? Well, yeah, it's shocking me. So after the first maintenance they did it, it's still shocking me. The guy come to my house, tried to find it, still shocking me. After 37 hours, uh, burned up the gauges, it broke 100 miles offshore. I made it back in, limped in with no navigation anyhow. Um, 37 hours later, um, um, it burned up the gauges. My uh, so There's a stink down in my hall um, where the electrolysis have obviously damaged the, the gas tank, burn up wiring, the gauges, um, and they're fixing it. And, you know, I have to keep my boat. I've made four payments. Um, I have insurance on it, but, you know, they're fixing it. And, and um, you know, I got it this Two hundred fifty thousand dollar boat that has a um, a black eye. <laughs> well, if they're what do I do? if they're well, it sounds like they're doing it. I mean, it's a products liability issue. If if there it was something that was during manufacturing, uh, it's a shame they didn't it listen to you earlier. I mean that that is potentially the problem that they didn't listen to you sooner. But if they're fixing it and correcting it and they're compensating you for you know maybe the the tow back. Well, you didn't need to be towed. You said you limp back in. You know, I did. I did it. Middle of the night. No lights. Yeah, but if you're, you're back. Um, you're alive. You made it. You're, there's there's no claim there. So you know if they just got to fix the issue, and then hopefully there's a stink in the hall that smells like um, it's horrible down in the in the down in the below when you go below to the bathroom or in underneath the cabin. It smells just horrible. This is what we um, say about Carmen. No. Oh no. Got a stink in the hall. Got yeah. a stink in the hall. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> it's the current that burned up to the wiring, that burned up the gauges that run the motor. They replaced everything, of course, and they want to give me an extended warranty. But uh, what are my thoughts? I mean, I, they're doing good. The mechanics are good. Everybody's great. But but I got this two hundred fifty thousand dollar boat that's now um, they're going to extend my warranty on it. Blah 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 blah. But I still got a vessel that that stinks. Well, the the issue is whether or not the value of the claim is worth the cost of litigation. And I've said this a lot on the show, which means that if they're going to fix the boat, they're remedying, they're remedying the damage, which is equity in law. You know, the argument that you're going to have is, well, you don't want the stink. They're going to fix that. They need to fix that. If not, then they breach potentially the warranty of the contract you purchased. How long have you owned the boat? Um, I bought it and it had problems from 8.8 .8 hours, brand new 2024 vessel. Um, and it's had the uh, electrolysis since the day one and now has 37 hours. They've had it for, you know, now going on the fourth week. And, um, you know, I just, they're, they're trying to do it, but it's a fight between the manufacturer and the, and the marina. Um, who's at fault? Who did this? Who did that? Who's going to take care of it? You know, blah, blah, blah. And, and uh, they're working together and, and trying to come up with a solution. But ultimately, I have no recourse. I, I, I have a boat that's got a mark in the... And the warranty from now on, I mean, I have this boat that I paid all this money for. I may not be able to sell it for anything close to what I paid for it because of the factory default. And a stinky hole. And a stinky hole down in the bathroom. I mean, never use the bathroom. It's got a bathroom in it. Never used it. But, well, boy, it smells like somebody did. Uh, oh, all right. Well, the issue you're drifting to is what is, is lemon law. If you purchase a lemon in this boat craft. So if you want to email me, if you're not satisfied with the repairs... But one of the issues with Laura Lemon Law is, you know, if they repair it to the satisfaction to the customer that they've eliminated all the issues, well, then it's correct. And if it keeps breaking down or things like that happen, then you're going to fall into that, that Lemon Law category. So if you want to email me, we can give you the information. But why don't we wait to see Thank if you. they fix it to your satisfaction? Hopefully this is just a, a bad start, but you might have a wonderful finish with this boat. Good luck to you. Awesome. Thank uh, you so much. Dominic at Astadom.com if you need to uh, get the information on the Lemon Law. And good luck to you and your boat and your stinky hill, sir. I apologize for your uh, for your problems. Mike Cal the show. Good morning. You're on with Astadom. What do you have? Um, I have uh, my wife decided not to pay her credit card for some odd reason um, mm -hmm. because we had a baby and it got past due. Um, she just got a letter. She's getting served. I guess um, I just want to make payments or pay it. Um, do I need to contact a lawyer? Am I supposed to just not, contact? Not necessarily. The bank? Well, how much is the debt? Uh, I think it's around five grand. All right, and you got a letter from a lawyer. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, for uh, Pasco County. Okay, okay. So the re is the lawyers representing Pasco County. Uh, TD Bank. They're representing TD Bank, but I got is the lawyer out of uh, Fort Lauderdale. 
or a 954 uh, area code? Uh, possibly. I, I don't have the papers in okay. front of me. I'm driving. That's fine. No. So what I would do is you, you don't necessarily need a lawyer, but what you can do is you can call the legal representative for TD Bank and say, listen, we got this and I like to resolve it, but I want to resolve it uh, at a reduced rate if you have the ability to do a lump sum. Do you have the ability to pay a lump sum, or is this going to be a payment situation? It's going to have to, it's going to, have to be a payment situation. Well, you can still negotiate that. Say, hey, listen, I want to resolve it, but you know, um, I can only afford payments at such and such a month, and I can do that if you reduce the bill down to three grand. I mean, you can just be arbitrary. You just negotiate. You don't have to pay the 5000 with them. You can negotiate with them. Uh, now, usually you have much more leverage. Here's what I would suggest. You have much more leverage to negotiate that total bill down if you could do a lump sum payment. So, for example, if you could get a credit card or if you can loan get a, get a loan from somebody and eliminate the debt that now is in legal action. So, for example, mm -hmm. let's say you get three grand or, or 2500 where you get a, a credit card for 2500 bucks. Tell them, look, I'll pay the whole thing uh, lump sum now if you just cut it in half. And a lot of times they'll just take the money and run and then just they'll just write it off and you know they're just looking it's a collections base. You know, it's a percentage if they can get a certain percentage, they're happy. It's not necessarily a hundred percent. So you have a distinct advantage for folks that don't know kind of the backstory of how this works. I would recommend that and then then just pay the credit card back the twenty five hundred dollars or whoever you loan the money you get the a loan from, because now that takes you out of legal action. You're not going to have a court costs, accrued interest, attorney's fees. All that is eliminated. And so, okay. you know, so part of when you call the show here in the morning, the advice I give you is, all right, let's minimize and contain the damage. And that's an example of how you do it. And it's it's if you got the credit or if you get a loan, eliminate the more exposure of where it's going to cost you more and, and then go that route. Yeah, that's, okay. my, that's my suggestion advice to you, sir. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. All right. Good luck Very to you, buddy. Yeah, that's a good question. A lot of people don't know that. They say, oh, i got to pay the whole bill. No, you don't. You can no. negotiate with the lawyers. And, but if you the leverage, hey, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll write you a check or I'll give you a credit card. I can have this paid within within days. And they're like, all right. And they'll jump at it. Yeah, all they the want their money. 100%. Well, let's try to grab a couple more of these. Good morning. I want to ask Dom, what do you got? Hey, good morning. Um my wife and I are going through the same thing. Mike and his wife just went through with the car. Her car got smacked pretty good in the rear bumper at a Salvation Army, dropping off some stuff. Okay. And the young young lady that hit her didn't have insurance. And I wanted to ask Don, Dom, that uh, I thought the state of Florida didn't let you have a driver's license if your car was not insured. They They would tag your driver's license. It takes, yeah. time, it takes time for yeah. them to figure that out. Uh, that You know, it, that would be fantastic if the governmental agencies communicated with each other from the uh, the, the tag office to the DMV, the, the clerk of court for the traffic division. No, it doesn't work that way. Folks get driver's license. Now, you can have a driver's license and not own a car. So th there's that's the problem with that analysis. So, you know, I can, you know, you can, I can have a, a driver's license. I don't, I can't afford a car, but I can rent one. Uh, or I'm going to borrow, you know, Mike's car, for example. And, uh, you know, so that eliminates the issue there because, well, that's, that's not the context of that individual's ability to own that, you know, that vehicle. But, but it should, should they highlight on the tag, you know, was that the insurance, there is no insurance on that tag vehicle. Well, well what happens is law enforcement can run the tag, and it'll come back whether or not it's insured in the system. And a lot of folks get pulled off, you know, pulled over for attached tag not assigned if it's on the wrong vehicle, if the registration's expired, if their driver's license is expired. Uh, and next thing you know, a, a routine traffic stop or not even a traffic stop, they can just pull the tag right behind you. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you have five or six different traffic things that, that occur, and then they, they hire me to get them out of the trouble. Florida law, by the way, requires you to have crap as far as insurance. Yeah. It, they just it, it, It's horrible. They don't require you to have BI. They don't require you to have UM. You have PIP, which a lot of folks just get. They, you know, they get a deductible. It only pays 80%. They don't purchase the med pay. 
You know, they'll have property damage to fix somebody else's car. They don't not required to have comprehensive coverage or collision coverage, which is your own vehicle. And folks don't understand what all of that means, which is why I did a great show a year or two ago. I'm going to do another one again with my insurance agent to go through what all of this aspect is in Florida law and the different types of insurance because people just get they get mad at me because folks, you know, hit them. They don't have bodily injury coverage. They don't have enough to repair the car because it's only a ten thousand policy. They have PIP at ten thousand. It only pays eighty percent, which is so it's eight. And they don't purchase UM because they don't know what the hell it is. Well, wait, my question is, what is the repercussions of of that for that person? So basically, if they, you don't have insurance and uh, you don't have anything that you could be sued for, you just get away with it. No, your license will be suspended. So what happens? Your license has to be, will be suspended. You have to do an SR twenty two, get a form to have it unsuspended, and then you have to go through the collections process to pay back the individual that you hit. And then normally that happens through a lawyer. So a lot of lawyers will contact me on my criminal clients or my traffic clients, I should say. And they say, okay, your client was involved in an accident. Uh, they didn't have a, a, a valid driver's license or lawful insurance or insurance coverage on the vehicle. And they caused X number of damage. You know, So they got to get a special form executed by a lawyer so they can get their license back in order for them to work to pay down the, 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 right, the bill. Right, right. And then you have a, a locked-in contract with the lawyer representing, per, for example, this caller, and then they'll make payments per month. It's a contractual obligation that allows them to sign to get the special uh, SR-22. Then uh, Another one is a D6 clearance, which you get directly through uh, the clerk of courts or the DMV, excuse me, while you're contesting a citation issue through a lawyer. Yeah, I, I like I'm in the same boat. My wife was hit by an uninsured motorist, and uh, they had nothing, and they don't they rent their house and they rent their you know their cars are not a big deal, and ended up uh, costing us. We had to pay out of pocket, and uh, our insurance had to pay for the damage. And we ended up having to pay for our deductible, and it ends up and nothing happened to them. Well, there was well, you could have sent that to Tallahassee, and that driver would have had the suspended license. Yeah, I think it was. I think right. it was sent there, but it still doesn't help us at all. No, because, yeah. well, if nobody was injured, I think that was just a property damage claim of right. memory served. So, you know, thank, thank goodness Amanda wasn't hurt. Uh, you know, then uninsured motors would kick in because then that, that's for bodily injury or or your body was injured. Uh, it, for that policy, it's called uninsured motorist, right. not necessarily BI because that's the at-fault policy. But this was just property damage. But, yeah, you're going to eat your deductible. Your car, you're going to be out of a car for a little bit. you got a diminished value on the car now when you go to turn it in to Carfax. Well, it's been hit. and You know, yeah, so, you know. That's true. Uh, all right. Let me grab one more call here. Uh, good morning. I want to ask the Dom. What do you got? Oh, thanks for taking my call, Mike. Yep. I got a good one. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was working with this guy just for one day. Uh, you find out why. But um, we're behind this guy, and the guy runs a red light. So the guy I'm working with chases him down, pulls in front of him, says, I'm, I declare I'm making a citizen's arrest. And the guy's a big dude, and he's a, he's a vet from Iraq. He's a, like a you know, special forces guy, uh, but he's a little crazy. But he makes this guy hold his hands on the thing, and, like, he's going to shoot him. He has his hands on his, on, his, uh, on his side, but he don't have a weapon. But is it legal to say, I declare <laughs> I'm making a citizen's arrest? Yeah, is that that's, that's, legal? I don't think you could do that, unless you, you, unless you were really witnessing a crime, though. Yeah. Well, I tell you that that's a funny. Um, I'm looking up the the information because uh, I have to remember the accuracy. So, uh, well, this happened in Tampa. And it was on uh, Nebraska and Fowler. You, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna read. I'm gonna just read quickly because it, it's been a minute uh, on this. So I just have to theorize. <laughs> I don't recommend doing this, but a citizen's arrest in Florida is when a private citizen or a peace officer holds a suspected criminal until the police arrive. Now. I'm not sure what crime the individual committed. That was a traffic offense. They said they ran a red light. So that's a civil infraction under the 316 traffic code. Uh, so citizens' arrests are based on common law uh, and a commitment to the community safety, et cetera. So the problem there is you you technically can't make a citizen's arrest on a civil violation. Also, listen to this. Huh. To be lawful in Florida, a citizen's arrest hinges on individuals having reasonable grounds to believe that a crime has occurred mm -hmm. and that a person being detained is the perpetrator. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Any use of force during such an arrest must be proportionate to the circumstances intended solely to prevent imminent harm or escape. So uh, I can't shoot somebody 
and uh, or I can't beat somebody to, to you know up and when I could have just held them. You know what I mean? Like you got to really you're going to be responsible for hurting the guy if you hurt him. Well, what what this what you, what you see a lot is if you see someone that's attacking somebody, and then uh, and a bystander comes in or a good Samaritan comes in and you know, breaks up the fight, and then subdues the attacker. You know, you probably right. see this online, and you know they stay on top of them. Hey, calm down, chill out, call nine one one somebody, and then they're on top of this person. That it technically is a citizen's arrest. Now, what's happening? There's a, there's it's a self defense. You, you can claim self defense. Uh, for others, so not just you know, for yourself, but you if you have an individual that can't defend themselves, you can claim self-defense for them and defend them as, right. a, as a good Samaritan and then subdue okay, but- the attacker, call law enforcement, then they come and then as soon as they get there and you, and you get off the person say, okay, here they are. That in essence, technically is a citizen's arrest. You're detaining them for suspected uh, un- unlawful conduct or criminal conduct that you know they sure. did because you're watching the whole thing go down. That's a ve- that's probably the most common image or optics for folks listening, uh, which is, a, by the way, it's a great well, question. My, my real question here is, my real question here, do you have to say, before you do this, do you have to say, I declare <laughs> I I'm making know. a citizen's arrest? No, no. I don't think no. no. It's like no. bankruptcy. In, in fact, I'm reading right here how to perform a citizen's arrest in Florida. Uh, you have to have probable cause before initiating minimal use of force. Then you must contact law enforcement, yep. then cooperate and provide documentation. And then if you need to get legal consultation, does not say anything about declaring one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. No, nowhere in, in the thing doesn't say that at all. So that guy went above wow. and beyond. But remember, right. in this, it, for, the, for, for you, this, and I, and I apologize what his, the caller's name was. I forgot, but the... This is instance was a traffic stop. So that's not criminal. No, and, but you can make a misdemeanor citizen's arrest and a felony citizen's arrest. You're right. But in the, but so for folks listening, if someone runs a red light and then this guy, I think his coworker chases him down, that's not a crime. No. I mean, it's a, it, you shouldn't do it. It's, it's a civil, it's a civil citation. So now the pro- then you, what you have now is you don't know what this other guy does. This guy doesn't know what this guy's doing. Road rage, cutting him off. Does he have a weapon? Does he not? Does the guy stop have a weapon? And that's where you start. You know, we're, 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 it's a shootout all of a sudden. You know, and things escalate. Yeah, uh, it is legal to make a citizen's arrest in Florida under specific conditions, but I would not recommend it. I would yeah, not no, recommend he, it with the uh, yeah. With, well, the, the Wild the, West over here. No, but the most common is if you go online, you see someone subduing somebody that's in a fight. The, yeah. W- w- breaking up fights is the most common application, in my opinion, to this caller's question this morning for folks to relate to. All right. Good to know. Good to yeah. know. Thank Woo. you, Dom. Uh, Man, I'm sweating over here. Yeah, I mean, they're making me work today. Whew, work. If you didn't get through today, you can always call Dom at the office, 813-251-5550, or you can go to askthedom.com, and as you can see, you can email him there through the uh, website. And he will respond to your emails there, whether it be a day or two, he'll get back to you. Uh, what do you got coming up on your show? So tomorrow, I'm still waiting. Uh, my good friend, uh, former chief of police, Brian Dugan, uh, he's going to clear his schedule because he is retired. See if he's available to come in tomorrow. We're just going to catch up and hang out with him if he's available. And by the way, he is also shooting on the Ask the Dom team at the uh, Sporting Clays event for Sheriff Chad Chronister, which nice. I think you're, are you, you're emceeing that? I, think I am, yes. Are you shooting in that? Do you have a team? Uh, I do, yes. All right, so the gauntlet has been thrown. Chief Dugan says he's gonna he's gonna outshoot you, Mike. So he there's a, there's maybe a little side bets here if you want to you and the chief. I mean, I don't, I don't think know. it's particularly fair that a <laughs> yeah. chief of police is shooting against me. Uh, Can we but, see if Mike can out radio him? Yeah, the, yeah. it's a, he ha, he's retired, so he hasn't been practicing. I think you might have the advantage. <laughs> All right, I got to tell you, I'm pretty good, so we'll see how it goes. I I think you should take the bet, Mike. Listen to your lawyer. Take the bet. Uh, Plus, we're all gonna be we're all gonna be drinking that day, so no, 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 no no drinking with guns. No, only Spanish does that. Oh my goodness! Uh, All right, Dom, thank you. Uh, We must take a break, and we'll come back and wrap up the show. Well, we got some time. It's the Mike Calta show. This is 102.5 The Bone. Now, Galvin, I understand we have a $1,000 winner. Yeah, bone winner from 8 o'clock uh, for the bone bonus, Austin Geiger from Newport Ritchie. Congratulations. Why does that name sound familiar? Matt Geiger? No, Austin, Austin, Austin Powers. Geiger. Like, Austin, I feel like we've... Austin, in the van. In the van, yeah. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. No, it's Walker, Austin Walker, Austin Geiger, Geiger, Austin. Geiger, Geiger, counter, counter. 
Intelligence. Intelligence. Austin yeah. Houston. Austin Houston. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, I watch Mission Impossible every night now. That's uh, funny same. Uh, yeah. Same. Yeah. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah. 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 Not at all. Um, but I will tell you that the... Uh, I'm uh, dying to know what you're going to say because I was going to just say something too. Go ahead. The last one, the part one, is so good and the beginning of it is so good. Like yeah. Tom Cruise does such great acting in there and that girl couldn't be more cute slash sexy. Ilsa? No, no, no. The, uh, the, the pickpocket one. In the airport? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, she has very much a... a, a we couldn't get... Uh, what is her name? The one that was in the werewolf movie, Kate Beckinsale. Yes, we couldn't yeah. get Kate Beckinsale, so we got her. Enough. And she's <laughs> younger and yeah, has hotter. a great smile like that. Yeah, yeah uh, and then there's there's Ilsa, and then there's Lane, and then there's like all these characters that go back so many movies, and there's the next one still got to come out. Also, Kittredge is such a great name. Kittredge, it's Kittredge. so perfect. Yeah, right. and that guy plays it so well because whenever Tom Cruise has the mask of him on whenever he comes in and then he goes, how do you plan on getting out of here? And then he t- turns and he's got the mask on and he's got the, uh, uh dark gun, whatever. Thing. And he goes, Oh no. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. It's so those movies are so good, but I watched the, my least favorite one. Okay. The other day, which which is one? still good. Which one's your least favorite? The second one. Is that the one where he's got the long hair? Oh my god! Yeah, that was so, not great. But he's so dreamy. Yeah, to is that and, Anthony Hopkins? No, that's with Thandie Newton. No, uh, the Philip Seymour Hoffman, right? No, no. that's no. the third one. That's the third one. This is where first one's John Voight. Second one I thought was Anthony Hopkins. No, the second one is um, Thandie Newton and the guy that was supposed to play Wolverine. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. Still good. He's still good, but, but it's, yeah. it's a little bit more serious because they didn't have Simon Pegg yet. And they had that other guy that played right. uh, uh, Murdoch from the A Team was in there, and he did not. He just didn't go as well as the other one. And um, what else? The, okay, so the first one is we got to do this again. Mm-hmm. First one is is John Voight. Second right. one, Danny Newton. Third one is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes. And then the fourth one is the one with Lane. Let me see. Let me see. The one with with Ghost Henry Protocol? Cavill. Uh, Mission Impossible 3, Mission Impossible uh, Ghost Protocol is 4, then Mission Impossible 5 is Rogue Nation. That's the one with Henry Cavill. And that is... Uh, Where's Anthony Hopkins fit into this? Anthony Hopkins was in one of them. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins is in two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm trying to think of which... What did he do? That's he was Tandy the, Newton. Yeah, and he was the John Voight character, so he was running the thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Running the team, whatever. Yeah. And then they switch to um, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin yeah. later, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now I get it. Uh, and then what did you say? Uh, the Rogue Nation, or which one did you say was. Uh, was Rogue Nation Henry Cavill? Uh, Rogue Nation. Uh, no. I think that's Fallout, is the one with Henry yeah, Cavill. Yeah, Fallout is Henry Cavill. What's Rogue Nation? Who's in that? Uh, that's where Jeremy Renner first comes in, I think, right? Yep. Oh, where they had to go to Abu Dhabi? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And the sandstorm and, storm the, and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Henry Cavill is in Fallout. And then you have Mission Impossible, uh, Dead Reckoning Part 1, and then we're supposed to be getting Part 2 in 2025. Okay. All right. Now I'm up to speed. Thank you very much. You I can go it. back to watch. Yeah. It is really good, though. Oh. <laughs> Although I will tell you, uh, in the uh, Dead Reckoning uh, Part 1, where he does the stuff, and they're in the airport, and it's got the facial recognition and all that stuff, and she's stealing the key and going back and forth and everything. She gets away from him, and then he gets in there, and he's her lawyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When and he shows up, yeah. And he's Italian. He goes, a ciao. Yeah. <laughs> he's so, that's so bad. He says like three Italian words, and they're like, oh, yeah, he's definitely Italian. That's funny. <laughs> uh, Mike Cal, the show. Good morning. Hey, Austin Geiger is Matt Geiger's nephew. I played basketball with him. Oh, is it really? Yeah, there you go. Oh, all right, good yeah. for him. Thank I, you for the heads up, sir. I made that joke. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was totally joking. Yeah, yeah that's no, hilarious. That's yeah, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hang up on you. Good for you, Austin Geiger. We give we probably gave you more money than Matt Ge- Geiger's ever given you. <laughs> Just letting you know. Uh, the director is checking in. Mo has to text everybody. Uh, texting Geo about Oasis. Now he's texting. Once you talk movies, Mo yeah, has to. Mo is- oh, wow. He said that a Mission Impossible Two was directed by John Woo, so mm-hmm. it's very dated. Oh, with that's his why it's style. Yeah. 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 Well, Mo's in the industry, so right. he, yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. these type yeah. of things. He's on yeah. the up and up. Yep. As a Wet draft. Uh, yeah. I asked him, "Is the film locked already?" Okay, well then we can. Yeah. Okay. If you have, if it's locked, it's, it's 
Moe knows the terms. The spike yeah. cut. What John Woo did was, yeah, he he directed it and then gave it the spike to dry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, wet it up. Wet, yeah. Wet it up. Make it wet. Wet yeah. it up. <laughs> still. Moisten it. Never seen, <laughs> I've still never seen that movie. <laughs> what movie? Oh, the uh, Mo, Moe's movie? Moe's movie. Yeah. Your yeah. eyebrows right? look fantastic, Michael. I just want you to know. No, they do not. <laughs> no. Thank you for bringing that back up. <laughs> I, I felt like I wanted to do Operation on you. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, your eyebrows. Yeah. Mo's were... working on another movie. No, oh, is he really? What's yeah. this one about? I don't know. I don't know the, what the premise is, but he sent me some like a uh, script. What is this is one it... about? I don't know. What was popular six years ago? <laughs> 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 he sent you a script because he wants you to be in it. Yeah. Oh, well, really. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Geo. Yeah. I think stand, stand out, out, stand yeah. out in Mo's film. The best. He uh, did very good. As good as SBK. I uh, thought he was better. You didn't see it, so you have no. <laughs> yeah. you can't That's in. a good point. That's you why can't I'm so excited to see it. Uh, Gio did a really good job of acting. Yeah, yeah. good job, Gio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you can see it really uh, led to some other things. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Even IMDb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. What? Uh, what? And we don't know what Mo's new movie's about. No. But did you read? Did he send you the script or no? No. No. Well, I say you just didn't read it. Yeah. What it is, is there's this handsome man that works for TSA. <laughs> but, but he, he really, also moonlights. Yeah. yeah. He's a comedian headliner. Mm -hmm. I told him, I'm in. I'm in. Well, oh, all right. I love that Mo thinks he's a headliner. Uh, for comedy? Yeah. He filmed I mean, a special. Yeah. Listen, I mean, he sold out side I get that you're bitter that you can only open for Mark Norman or your best friend. <laughs> he is selling out and headlining Sunday afternoon shows. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday well, afternoon shows. <laughs> I tried to get tickets. I could not. Mm. Come on. That's, that's a, all I know. That's a hot ticket. Absolute lie. It was sold out. Yeah. Mm. I didn't go. I'm proud of that. You know, Mo made his living as a comic for like over a decade. He says, he says that. He says that. Yeah, but there's a lot of comedians that make a living on it. And, and uh, that just means that they work in poverty. Well, I mean, he raised a family and a house. No, 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 no. Did he? Yeah. He chose not to be super successful. Because <laughs> uh, of the family. Well, you don't want to be. You know. of craft, Galvin. I mean, I, I just listen. know that's what he did for a living for over 10 years was he was a cruise ship comedian. He that know, easier. He knows, like he saw Dave Chappelle. He goes, listen, yeah, $60 million, but you know, it wears on you. Uh, I believe it is actually harder to be a cruise comedian because you have to be clean and you have to do all that yeah. stuff and all. I don't know. If I went on a cruise and Mo was the comedian, I would not go to the show. Uh, are, are you going to the show on the cruise? I mean, I have. Yeah. I have before. They're all right sometimes. Hmm. I can't wait to our cruise. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I am not a uh, go to a comedy show not knowing who it is. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to a comedy show, it's because I'm going to see Shane Gillis or yeah. I'm going to see Steve. Brown I like it better when I don't know. Right. If yeah. I see something great, you know what I mean? Like if I don't know, like I, I, we have this comedian that we booked on the show for September, Rob Stant. I think that's his name. I, I had a publicist email me and say, uh, this guy's coming to town and he would like to come on your show. And I said, okay, let me look him up. And I loved him. He was great. I didn't, well, didn't know what to expect. It's funny because hilarious. you brought him up and I saw him do a thing that I thought was funny yeah. online and it wasn't even his comedy, whatever, but oh, it, was, really? it was from his comedy where some guys on social media stole his stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was funny. Like that thing that he did about that, the video, it was funny. And I was like, Oh, this guy's pretty funny. Yeah. So I like to be surprised by that. Oh, I sure. just feel I, like it's I love to see new talent. What I'm saying is when was the last time you walked into a comedy club, not and, knowing what you're not gonna knowing see. and saw a comedian where you're like, Oh my, this guy's great. I think uh, that happens I, with a lot of openers. Yeah. What were you going to say, yeah. Carmen? I didn't say I'm kind of bummed. I had I was supposed to go be like a paid audience member for a uh, comedy special. DNC for Mo's uh, thing? No, for yesterday. It's the, and all these they wouldn't tell you who it was for. Um they just said it is a famous YouTuber filming a comedy special. Oh. And it was going to be you know, you just Papi go. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I had no idea, but I like I forgot to send in like my final thing or whatever, so mm -hmm. I wasn't able to go do it. Did your agent book that or what? 
No, I'm on a website that sends you, you stuff that's local. You would get paid to go be a yeah. member of the audience? It was going to be 75 bucks. So they couldn't gonna, fill the audience. Still, that's what I'm saying. They couldn't yeah. fill the audience. Yeah. Right. Nothing crazy. You know what I mean? But again, I don't care. It's 75 yeah. bucks to go sure. sit there for a couple hours. Yeah. A lot of these YouTubers, man, that stuff's that's, all staged and right. faked. Yeah. And that's they, how they do it. They rent the jets and they rent the cars. All right. Here comes, here comes Frankie. Now, everybody laugh it up. Yeah. Uh, really enjoy it. Do you know who it was, Carmen? No, they wouldn't tell you. I mean, it was, now you don't know? Yeah, no. It, it, like I, know, you, I know who it was. Oh, you do? Bring in the boom no. The Maybe. The boom Maybe. I don't know. It just said famous YouTuber filming special. That's such a loose term nowadays. I know. Yeah. 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 What is famous? Not even a million. A million's not famous anymore. A couple hundred thousand? I don't, I don't, say, I don't think you have a million view, followers. I don't think you're famous. I think it's it need to be famous. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the, it, the views are what's more important. It, sure. But my thing is, I think they were only going to pay $75, and they said it was a really small venue, so they weren't not that famous. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, if you, they, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I'm so bummed I missed it. I really wanted to know who it was. And I can save <laughs> Moa text. If they shoot it right, it looks like it's packed. Right. And, yeah. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> where was it? Uh, it didn't say again that oh, was, you they were. When do you, what are you Mission Impossible? They only they find will, out second <laughs> probably find out once you agree to go. Yeah, the, if once you, choose you to send, accept. Once you send in the final application, they said they were gonna like text us Monday morning because we had to be there by like eleven, uh, and they were gonna text us Monday morning with oh, location and everything. Yeah, hmm. but I forgot to send in my final submission to the actual production people mm, that stinks now i just want to know out of i know so, that's what i'm saying i'm oh, i'm bummed what but. if you show up and you see what is it eh, no ah. i'm pass <laughs> again seven, uh, for 75 bucks yeah. Span in spanish that's something you could do yeah dude uh send me the link if they were if you do you feel the pressure to have to laugh because they're yes. paying you 100 percent. that's why they want you there <laughs> After. I, I would oh, love yeah, to yeah. see like we find out because carmen went and she did it and then we look at to try and find carmen they pan the audience and she's just dead faced right. <laughs> <laughs> yawning oh, yeah. Yeah. The whole time i, I saw one of the guys that uh was at your son's backyard wrestling thing years ago yeah his name's kevin and he was one of the huge extras in that fallout show that was on amazon oh really yeah dude he's he's got a scene with walton goggins where he bumps him and kevin's like this huge Huge guy with an axe, it was wild.